All right, everybody, welcome to the uh, hashtag podcast. Uh, you know, the only place on the internet to hash it out with a bunch of bunch of morons, a bunch of idiots. You know, Luke's like just looking like he does not agree with that statement whatsoever. Yeah. <laughs> I like the I fake didn't intro I signed better. Up. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't realize I signed up to get roasted. Actually, what do you mean? <laughs> that, that, what we did was the real intro. <laughs> yeah, where we just talked about it. Like, nope, you screwed yep. it up, Jesse. Mm-hmm. Screwed it up. Yep. You know, the pre-show. Maybe I'll I'll, I'll make I'll, we'll start a Patreon and I'll make like people pay for the pre-show. That yeah, sounds the like a good plan, intro. doesn't it? So, That's a great idea. <laughs> Give us money. We should start a Patreon. It'd probably be more profitable than YouTube Please? Ad revenue. Honestly, yes. Hey, that's so oh. true. Still probably bank less money though. Yep. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, start with the uh, introduction segment. So uh, I'm gonna uh, light a candle up. You're going to light a candle? Nice. Ooh, That's fire! <laughs> Alright, so we're going to go ahead and uh, start with uh, who's probably going to end up being to my that direction. Uh, Steven, introduce yourself. What's up? I'm Steven, known as Stevos on the uh, YouTube channel, hashtag idiots. Um, yeah. There you go. <laughs> what right. else do you want me to say? Uh, and then Give us your date of birth and your location right, of origin. Right, right I've been to college security. for four semesters. <laughs> All right. An interesting fact about right, myself. Right, right down there, Jonathan, you can go ahead and uh, introduce yourself real quick. Just get hey, there. I'm a Jonathan, also known as Riderborn. I do crazy stuff, play crazy games with that guy up there in the diagonal corner, Steven. I, I, and also oh. that guy, my brother, directly above me, who's All also right. adjacently behind me somewhere. And, and we space. haven't played a game together yet, but we will. We, we will. We did play oh, yeah, a Then there's that game, guy right we'll over there about. who's uh, hasn't done anything yet. <laughs> All right, Luke, I got that's you. not actually that's true. not true. He did read a bedtime story with you guys. Speaking of which, we need to do it's another. Like, oh, I right forgot like, about seriously. that. Seriously, that was so yeah. funny. I still go back and watch that. It's like we need to do more of those at some point. But anyway, so I probably should. I down. should probably go back and watch it because I forgot that I was in that. It was a good I'm, bedtime story. Too. I'm also in one of video. our pre uh, hashtag idiots videos. A lot of them before. Oh yeah, that like idiots. quintet one. <laughs> yeah, we were all flying a jet yeah. and couldn't figure out what was going on. I, remember that game. I think that one's been yeah. unlisted. <laughs> yeah. Oh, really? I don't even oh yeah, I forgot you unlisted a I bunch actually, of our videos. I think because it's on my likes. Yeah. It's on my likes. I think one. I can still go back and watch it, but it's unlisted. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah. It was pretty good. So Luke, you basically already introduced yourself, but you can go and do it again if you feel up to it. Hi, yeah, I'm Luke, and um, I guess I go by Lucrative on the channel. I'm never going to use that, though, so <laughs> yep. I'm just, no. good. I'm just Luke. I'm, I'm the guy that's not going to abide by my He's uh, Lucrative Luke look, name. I pretty much What's stopped, your gamer tag? I pretty much stopped going by the alias Neon, so it just kind of just kind of goes that way. I just can't do it, man. I can't come in yeah. to the channel and be like, hey, I mean, guys, I'm Neon. It's like... <laughs> <laughs> I can't Mine's just gonna, like my hey. name with two other letters. I, mean, I, I still can, tout yeah. the writer born name strong, right? Look yeah. at all this. <laughs> I'm a dragon rider. And I've so I need this. to sell that brand. <laughs> I've been holding this chip no, for like a, a minute because I knew my it's intro was coming up. Uh-huh. Just Go for it. My vault Crunch boy. that chip. It has nothing to do with anything. Uh, that's some Brought good stuff. My potato Ooh. chips. Ooh. There we go. But, uh, Steven, so I, pretty much, I pretty much just that's call you Stevos on the regular anyway, yeah. Steven, so... Yeah, I mean, it's, like, literally just my na- name plus two letters, so... Yeah, I mean, that's, that's, that checks out. All right, yeah. so, uh, what have you all done this week? Watched any, uh, good movies, good TV shows, played any fun games? Worked uh, and yeah. slept! My life sucks! <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be a great podcast. Well, yeah, he's can out. Can already tell. He's out. All right, Steve, <laughs> right, what have you I done this week? I just went back in time and actually did more stuff oh, this week, so I'm good let's now. Let's see, what have I done this week? All right, Steve. I'm trying to, okay, I know one movie I watched this past week. Well, it was more like, I guess, a week or one day, but it was still technically, this, I guess, this past week. Uh, but trying to think of any games that oh, I've been playing you. that haven't been regularly... I mean, I've been continued, continuing to go through Final Fantasy VI. That game is a masterpiece, and I don't think I've even gotten to the great part of parts of it yet. So, <laughs> I know of but, one um, part of it. I've never yeah. played it. I know of one part that I'm waiting for you to get to. Okay. Because it's there's one. Like... There's one part I just got to that was pretty that I did not really expect. That was pretty crazy, but I don't think that was it. Because I'm, I'm still I'm pretty sure only like a quarter of the way through. Because I know it's like a long game. So, but it's it's pretty great so far. Like. Every time I talk about the game with, like, friends, I'm always just, like... The thing that fascinates me about that game the most, I think, is, like, how they put so much, like, character and, like, mm. character building and story building 
with just a little sprite jumping around and like text mm. box. Just that like amazes me because there's so much yeah, it really like character to very, the whole universe impressive. and like it's so good. It's like the perfect yeah. example of, of doing a lot with very little. It really is, and like yeah. it, and like even like with just like the little pixel graphics and stuff like that they had in the SNES back. That's how I'm playing it through my SNES Classic. Like it's the, even though like the levels and the worlds look so cool and like colorful. Mm with what they did. It looks really good. And the music's yeah. great, of course. Everyone knows yeah. that. Yeah. But, um, yeah. I love it. It's they good. They did pixel art before it was cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Jonathan, what have you, uh, what have you done, played, or watched this week? Whew. Boy. It's been a, <laughs> it's been a lot of stuff the last couple of weeks. Or this week in particular, I'm only about halfway through. Uh, we, we, I, we recently picked up a bunch of the Avengers movies, which, yeah, we actually have not owned a lot of the Avengers movies until, mm. like, this week, so... Watched through the first Avengers movie, then the Winter Soldier, which is fantastic Great movie. movie. Like, Great I think movie. of all the Marvel movies, I've watched that one the least. Which is... Except for really, maybe Iron Man 3, but that, really, that is Winter, truly a yeah. pity. <laughs> Winter Soldier is, yeah. like, still probably... I haven't seen it recently, but it, it's always been, like, my go-to favorite. Yeah. It's got it's such a good best, pace, easily. and it's just so intense yeah. the whole way through. Yeah. It really is. Yeah. And yeah, uh, got perfect. a bunch of other movies I haven't gotten to yet. I actually have them right here. If you want me to show them on camera or not, I don't, I don't think Sure, I don't care. <laughs> yeah, so, Can you hear um, the thunder out my window? <laughs> actually, no, I can't. But, ah, they're stuck on the cords! Okay, I got them. So, uh, also picked up Detective Pikachu. Haven't watched mm, that nice. yet. Uh, the That's first three Pokemon movies. We all like movies, that. Yeah. Pokemon the first movie, 2000, and Pokemon the movie, three. <laughs> Hold on. I have a question. I have a question. Is Pokemon 2000 called Pokemon 2000 because it was released in 2000? Yes. Yes, it was. No, it's because it was a 2000s Pokemon movie. Is that actually that one, why it's called that? I think... Probably. I believe Wait, so. Yeah. I think a lot of people were doing that, that, that back then That seems like that'd names. be the obvious... Metal Gear yeah, didn't 2000! That, didn't <laughs> everything in 2000 do that? No, yeah, I thought about 1999! Well, they but probably did that because that was the upcoming year. Yeah. Anyway, I never well, realized... Actually, thought, is that in Japan or America? That's how many Pokemon are in the movie. It's great. Oh my gosh. gosh. There aren't even 1,000 Pokemon yet, okay? <laughs> you just I made a lot of was, people very angry. I thought it was Male called, and female Pokemon. I thought it, it was adds up. Pokemon 2000. Even that would only be like the second one. And it was just like, you know, when you when you come up with a sequel to something, it's just you gotta put a big number in there. Mm-hmm. I love how the first one's yeah. literally just called the first movie. And then you have Pokemon 3, the movie. <laughs> I mean, they really thought us Americans were really dumb. So yeah. yeah. Mm, That's damn. why they named them. So, got Avengers. Uh, also bought Age of Ultron. Civil War. Uh, at some point, I'm going to create a spreadsheet of all the Marvel movies we don't own yet, so we can fill in the gaps. Yes, mm, I actually good. do that kind of thing. <laughs> nice. Excel is really collection nice. going. Shazam! Is- probably the best DC oh, movie yet. that's a good one. <laughs> Shazam is great. I love Shazam. And uh, I bought this a while ago, but How to Train Your Dragon 3, I actually watched that again. Fantastic mm. movie. Oh, nice. That's a good one. Ha- Excellent. Haven't watched really the trilogy. Go, go, Luke, go watch it. It's, Steven, it you still need to watch the first one. He's seen like I do. the later two, yeah. but not the original one. I, I love two and three. Those were great. I need to a watch the first one. A lot of people still one. say the first one's the best. And, like, really? I think it has first the best overall good pace, but the huh. third one, like, I like almost as much as the first one, I think. Like, looking hmm. back, at all three are great movies. Like, yeah, the first one has a special place in my heart, personally, because it was just, like... That was at the time when I was just, like, at my highest peak of being in love with dragons. <laughs> like, mm. I was obsessed mm. with dragons. And I still I would, am to this day, but, like... I wouldn't have worded it the first crazy. way you worded it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in love with dragons. Oh, I am infatuated <laughs> with dragons! <laughs> Much better. Very good. Much yeah, better. that was way better. Um, but, um... I actually yeah, it was just like watching. the perfect movie for me at the time, but it really is a great movie. It holds up. That being said, though, visually the newer movies are like absolutely stunning animation. Well, the wise. first one yeah. looked amazing when it came out. It really did. Like, but then you see how I much re-watched... better the newer yeah. movies look. And it's like, watched that how do they keep making yeah. them look better every single movie? Also, I'd watch that first one with you guys as a group if you want. But the the uh, third one I also want to watch as a group, honestly. Um, if we can, I don't know. I don't oh, know. Yeah, how yeah, we can do that. It. We can definitely set up a date for that for sure. Actually, is it on Netflix? Oh, oh, uh, might be. Final movies. How did you I guys? Bought. Oh, yeah. Go ahead. Uh, final movies I bought today actually are uh, Iron Man One. Yes, we have not owned it all these years. 
Steelbook <laughs> Edition 4K. Nice. And Avengers Endgame. So I got the beginning Ooh. of the story and the end of the story. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. One. Both Steelbook 4K, so looking forward to watching those at some point. Now, I should probably talk about stuff I actually have watched, <laughs> not stuff I plan on watching. I mean, well, it's it's still stuff you did this week, so... It, yeah, a lot yeah. of it is stuff I did this week. I also well, picked kick, up this very can I kick that off that you're with, looking at. And this yeah, can I kick that off with nice. Avengers? Because I really want to know how Avengers, like... How Avengers, like, really... How it is after all these years. How the first like one how it's up. aged? How the first one's yeah, aged? Yeah, I guess how it's aged. I haven't seen it in a so, long time, the first it's one. It's still a lot of fun. I mean, it's still a ton of fun. It's it's great. I love it. <laughs> Captain America's. I mean, it's hard one. to compare to like the absolute high intensity of the later films, but right. Because mm -hmm. looking back now, I think about it, it's like the threat is kind of a, on a much smaller scale. Mm -hmm. But it's still just a fun movie with all the character yeah. interactions yeah. and the meeting. Well, you for the gotta start time. start smaller. So you do it because yeah. it's so weird. Because back then the scale felt enormous. Just the idea of all these characters from. Mm. What at the time felt like different movie franchises coming together. Yeah. It was so foreign. Because before, like, movie crossovers like that weren't really a thing other than in, like, Godzilla. And even then, mm. the Godzilla movies felt more well, connected than a lot of the hero movies did. There, a lot Back in the day, there was also a lot of, like, the Universal monster movies. And by there, monster movies, I'm not true. talking about, like, kaiju stuff. I'm talking about, like, Dracula, werewolves, stuff like that. <laughs> like, that was, like, is considered to be, like, the first, like, real cinematic universe where they... Had all the different okay. monsters and and they tried monsters. to bring that back and failed miserably. I was gonna say I, Universal <laughs> should bring that back. If you did like a horror movie franchise, I'm not the first person to say this. If you did a franchise of that, that would be actually kind of well, cool. They, but they tried just tried to make Marvel movies, but with monsters. The Dark Universe. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, uh, I forgot about that. Yeah, I was about to say they tried uh, the yeah. Mummy with Tom Cruise, and that didn't end very well. Mm -hmm. It's like it can no. work, but you. Oh. Need the effort oh! and talent out the plane. And not yeah. just the idea. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Avengers, they all still hold up. Original Iron Man still holds up, even though I haven't actually hmm. watched it yet. I think I watched it recently, but, yeah, it still holds up. I haven't right. seen the first one since maybe it came out, like, on DVD the first time around. Like, Jeez, that's the last that's, time I watched it. That's a long time It's ago. ridiculous. I haven't seen it in a long time. It might be almost, like, <laughs> You watched it on years. DVD? Well, I have it on 4K. Yeah. Speaking of which, I actually bought a 4K player just this week. I know, t <laughs> yeah, 16 year old like Luke or whenever that came out didn't have. They didn't have Blu ray or 4K. Didn't well, they might even have Blu ray, exist. but 4K, yeah. Yeah, it wasn't I even think Blu ray so. was like in development <laughs> when like yeah. Iron Man came out. Well, 28. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. That or it had just come out. 2008. One of those two. 2008. Yeah. Ironically, same year How to Train Your Dragon 1 came out. Mm hmm. So, wow. Yeah. A lot of things happen. All right. Well, that night. All right. Time flies. So, yeah. yeah, that's about it. Finally bought a 4K player for my 4K TV, which I've had for months. <laughs> so, it's pretty neat. It's not as dramatic as a jump from DVD to Blu-ray, but it's still noticeable. It's very crisp. You can see the pores on mm -hmm. people's faces. <laughs> Lovely. Because that's what all right, we all so, uh, love that. Oh, yeah. Ooh, ooh, that's some that's some nice close-up. So, all close. right, Luke, what have, what have you been some up to this porridge. week? Some porridge. You played anything? You watched anything? You ate anything? Um, well, man, I've had, like, a busy week. But I did start on something that um, me and Jesse have been looking forward to, which is Infinity yeah. Train. Yeah. So, so it yeah. came out, like, I guess early April, and we didn't even realize it. Well, till, like, actually... Was so that... I, or not April, August. July. Uh, was it July? The first like oh, episode dang. aired in like I end of July, and then the rest of it aired in uh, August. Wow. So. But yeah, it just came out, and I, I didn't even realize it, which it worries me a little bit. Like they did ten episodes, and they did. I mean, maybe they they have like a specific amount of episodes in mind or something. I don't know. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, so I got through like three episodes of it, and. It hasn't gotten like too crazy so far, so it's like not a lot to talk mm -hmm. about. But yeah, um, I, I was like the opening of the show was kind of a surprise to me. I was kind of like, really? it, it wasn't expecting it, I guess. And then uh, it doesn't really wait, waste a lot of time. It gets you right into the Infinity Train, which is what the title of the show is. That's, yeah, um, that's good. But yeah, to describe the show, um, basically, like if you don't know anything about it, it's a Cartoon Network show. Uh, they've had a, like a teaser of it for like two, three years now at this point mm -hmm. on on their channel, like their YouTube channel, and um, everybody's like Infinity Train when Infinity Train. So finally came out, 
But it's like this girl, Tulip, basically, um, she gets stuck on this train, which initially you don't know how, but um, they explain that. Uh, mm -hmm. But yeah, she gets stuck in this thing called the, like, well, they don't call it the Infinity Train, but it's an Infinity Train, right? It's just mm -hmm. infinitely long. Each train car is like its own room. So, like, it has its own laws and rules and oh, civilizations in some case. <laughs> so it's like, it's kind of insane. And then she's got the big plot point. Um, which, if you've seen the thing, it's not really a spoiler. Mm. Like the, the she's got like this thing on her hand. It's like a countdown or a number of some mm. sort, and doesn't know what it is. There's not. It's not like, you know. I mean, mm. Basically, it's like as you go in, you realize like, well, like it doesn't really seem to, you know, it doesn't correlate with anything going on in the show. Mm. Um, but yeah, it'll be interesting when um, you get to get around to watching it, Jesse, because like yeah. I want to see what your thoughts are on it. Yeah, um, I think I'm on a gonna side love note. It. Yeah, no, it it's probably I'm assuming like so far it's pretty you know it's it's cute it's fun it doesn't really have a lot of like stakes or anything behind it but um um uh the thing I'm really excited about though is because I used a like a TV carrier for it to get onto the Cartoon Network website you can mm -hmm. actually watch all like I think all of Teen Titans like the original series oh the original so I'm like. Yeah, the original, like, the good series. So I'm, oh, like, probably going nice. to go back and watch that at some point. That's probably uh, a good idea. I've, I've heard, I've heard yeah. the original is great, so I, I've never Yeah, well, it. that was, like, a lot of kids' childhoods. I mean, mm. I I didn't grow up with cable, so, like... Yeah. <laughs> I don't think that's a weird <laughs> sentence, but okay. Um, but, yeah, that's supposed to be a good show. And, I mean, I've seen it here and there as a kid. Like, I didn't have cable, but whenever I was anywhere, like, anybody's house that had cable, I would watch it, you know? And I was, like... This is cool, you know. I don't think I think teenage superheroes was kind of a novel idea at the time. I think mm -hmm. I can't really remember. Like it's except for the Ninja Turtles, which they weren't. They never acted like teenagers ever, anyway. So like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. should have been called um, the adolescent turtles. Yeah, are we talking about food too in this section? You can talk about whatever you want in this section. It's literally <laughs> I tried, whatever you've been to, been up to. I tried the Chick Fil A mac and cheese. <laughs> they have Chick Fil A mac and cheese now. Um, I got it as, yeah, I got it as a side. I don't know if you're supposed to do that, but I got it instead of fries. Um, their fries are very good, but I wanted to try the mac and cheese, and it's good. It's kind of like home style mac and cheese. So it's like it's got the goo, it's got the stretchy cheese in there as well. You get a little crust. It's like it's baked in a pan. It's great. I I thought it was good. Um, at least like. Cool. How much is it uh, for? Um... Yeah. How much is it? I'm not, I don't know the pricing, actually. I can look that up while we're yeah. moving on to something else, I guess. Uh, let's see. I'm just going to Google it right now. So this is very <laughs> exciting. We're, we're going in with these epic details. Mac and cheese. Googling. Price. Um, it added, like, a dollar to my meal. Dollar. I also get their, like, um, Yeah, whatever, added a the dollar. What do you special mean? Drink. Was it a It's like a dollar more. Yeah, I got it like oh. as a side. Oh, um, you like substitute like fries out for a it? A side order of mac and cheese starts at around three bucks, according to USA huh. Today. Interesting. Isn't there like a there's like two sizes, right? I think so. I think I heard that there was like a large size. I too. had a hard time. It's funny too because I Stephen knows the guy that, like I ordered from because I talked about it with him too. Um, but like I had a hard time understanding him because like there was like two. Like, I don't know if it was the size or something else. Like, I was like, I'll just go with the small one. I don't know what you said. And I don't want to be like, <laughs> I can't understand you, dude. Like, I'm not the kind of person that's going to do that. So I was just like, yeah, I'm like, I'll, I'll get whatever the other one was. The first one. <laughs> and it was good. So Interesting. I, it sounded like a Supreme version of it or something. I don't know. So, but anyway, mac and cheese from uh, Chick-fil-A. Hmm. I was like, that seems that. like a, yeah, I'm like, that seems like a weird thing. But I mean, it's good. It's like a good thing of mac hmm. and cheese which is hard because usually it's like you know like a not craft because even craft is like fine but it's like you know when you go to like a craft place and cheese. get like some cheap mac and cheese and it's just oh like, yeah and it's just like it's gross. like a soup it tastes it's like, like plastic in soup form mm. yeah, yeah yeah it's a good description i guess like the noodles are like, like always cheese flavored plastic soft if that makes any sense mm. yeah it's not good <laughs> but the chick-fil-a mac and cheese was good yeah they're also, according to Reviewbra, they're bringing back uh, spicy oh, yeah. Wendy's nuggets. Uh, I'll have to, have try, to those. try those. I don't think I've had those before, so. Yeah, they're not, Wendy's nugs are good. This week. 
Yeah, they're good just by the, themselves, and yeah. spicy ones are better. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, so that's it, basically. I started on cool. that and then um, mm. ate some mac and cheese. So. Interesting. That's my week. <laughs> that's your week? <laughs> well, nice. my week Excited. was uh, was interesting so far. Um, uh, I've been playing a lot of uh, Super Castlevania Four, which that's really fun, actually. I like Castlevania. That's a great game. Uh, you know, because you never played any, right? No, no, I've never really done any uh, Castlevania stuff. I mean, we're starting up, you know, the, the Rondo of Blood series that should be uploading any day now. Nice. Um, you know. Yeah, that was a fun that. video to do. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, Super Castlevania Four is uh, very, very hard. Uh, I know the only other person here that's played that, is Steven. So. Yeah. Uh, that is a fun game, but boy, it is. It's, can be kind of it's really fun, but it's like a really stupidly designed at parts. <laughs> like was... if you can't see where you're falling, like if you move somewhere and the camera pans upward slightly, then you fall back down where the camera panned from, you die. You die. All health gone. <laughs> you lose a life. You start like, back at the beginning. The camera doesn't pan uh, back classic. down. You just die. It's because um, it deloaded the world underneath you. <laughs> there, I swear, yeah. There was one skeleton this developer must have placed it there knowing exactly mm -hmm. what it was gonna do where you oh, jump yeah. over and it moves just it moves into view right as you jump over not before right as you jump over just to hit you off the platform and kill you yeah it's yeah yeah, yeah there's a lot of moments like, like that in that game. that's some <laughs> yeah cheap, games used to be real team. punishing <laughs> mm -hmm. no yeah. like, back then developers just like to troll people and they still yeah. do today, but in different, more mm. subtle ways. Because yeah. it's weird, because, like, I always heard that, like, the theory is, is that, like, for arcade games, they made it harder, so you'd have to... It's like microtransactions. Yeah, you honestly, micro nothing microtransactions has changed. Are bad. It's just the format yeah. ch has changed. <laughs> yeah, because, like, in order to play, you had to put quarters in. I mean, they literally yeah. nickel and dimed you back in the day. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of crazy. Just to try like, playing the game uh, again, and compared people complain to now. about buying yeah. a cosmetic nowadays. Yeah, um, yeah. I mean, it's still like at a lot least of you can still repeatedly BS. play the game over and over again. Mo yeah, in most cases. I mean, a lot of microtransactions are still BS nowadays. Oh, they are. Like, that's yeah. like, paying for paying to play after you die is like insane. Like, by especially standards. in a game that you've already paid for. Like, you yeah. pay for a game, but, but, you play, um, then you die, and then you need to pay to skip a twenty-four hour timer so you can try again. <laughs> like that—that that is ridiculous. But even like. Even like, um, uh, like, like you know, Ninja Gaiden, or like you're talking about Castlevania, that kind of stuff. Like, even that was mm. hard, and there wasn't like any quarters. You already bought yeah. the game, you know. Yeah. So I guess yeah. they just made games really. Well, it's because it was kind of reason. transferring over from that arcade era. They weren't quite sure how to progress the difficulty. Yeah, at that there point. was still yeah. a lot like, of old arcade really? practices yeah. from that era. Mm. But, uh, yeah, no, Castlevania 4 is very fun. I think I'm a Castlevania yeah. fan now. Uh, I always Mostly because of the anime, though. <laughs> the show is so good, man. Yeah, the show yeah, is pretty the good. The show honestly. is fantastic. Steven, go watch the show, Steven. I, I'll watch Just it Just watch episode point. 7 I've not of been season in the mood 2. For that kind of show. That's, That's all you need to watch. have the box copy show. of season 1. It's so good. <laughs> oh, it's so beautiful in its pixelated form. <laughs> oh, it's such a good show. Um... But yeah, no, uh, I am probably going to play like the rest of the Castlevania games that I have access to, because I got the Anniversary Collection on Switch, which has like one, two, three, four, and like five more. It's it's For 20 bucks, that's an incredible deal. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. So, uh, another weird thing that happened to me this week, got a little interesting story. Uh, yesterday, oh. Uh, I'll, I'll get the setup here. I was I, I was approached with a situation I really didn't know what to do with, hmm. uh, and uh, I was a little I was a little nervous. So I'll, I'll set it up here. I was you know driving through uh, McDonald's, got in the line for McDonald's, and it was a kind of a dead day, like no one was there. Yeah. Um, and it was Belmont taking. Was this like? <laughs> Whoa! And it was and so Simon Belmont. So and it was Simon Belmont was this taking going my order. To like... Dracula was grilling yeah. up the burgers <laughs> in the back. <laughs> Ooh! If Dracula's grilling burgers, I ain't eating. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I don't trust that at all? Hey, it may be steak. Yeah. That's a mystery. <laughs> uh, human steak. Was this like in the like the morning or evening? Like this was uh, 
like four fifteen, uh, right after Getting I got off. in the work. morning. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no wonder no one was there. Four fifteen p.m. I was just gotcha. got off work. I was like, I didn't have lunch. I didn't have a real breakfast, and I needed food before I was gonna mm. go like work out. Just a little something. So I went and got myself just a little burger, just a small fry. Yeah. And as I was pulling out. There was, like, a guy standing next to the trash can that's always at, like, the edge of the um, drive-thru. Yeah. Because now there's always a trash can right there. At least at McDonald's. And there was a guy, and he basically, like, was like, hey. And he, like, beckoned me to, like, stop. And I was like, um, what am I going to do here? What about some of these no. drugs, kid? <laughs> <laughs> drugs no, I, I was... I'm not the kind of person that's just going to, like, completely ignore somebody if they're, like, trying yeah. to get my attention. It's... Uh, but, uh, so... Uh, I stopped and he like walked up to me and I don't know what he was saying. Something about oh, I don't really know. What part of town was this in? This was um. <laughs> well, well, eh, maybe we should. Was, talk. I think I know where you. McDonald's yeah. McDonald's Flat Rock or is this another McDonald's? No, no. This, this was a bad. It, this was not a great part of town. So. Okay, okay, yeah. This, if this <laughs> is near your work, not then, ja- yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm not gonna tell them where he was. <laughs> This is not believe- Jesse's you current work address is one, two, three, four, I mean, just the local area, now, no one's drive. gonna, like, find <laughs> Yeah, so, uh, this was not a great part of town. So I'm always okay. a little nervous going through this McDonald's. Just cause- So, the dude walked up to me, and he started saying something. And I'm not quite sure what he was saying, because he w- he decided to, like, stand, like, a foot away from the car instead of actually walking up <laughs> to it to talk to me. Uh, which he di- eventually did once I was like, huh? Um, and then, long story short, he, like, said he was, like, on hard times or something and was, like, right. he, he was asking for money. I mean, what okay. else was... Mm-hmm. So he wasn't but, trying to sell you drugs. But he like gave me really the whole thing about, burger. like, he, he gave me, and he seemed, like, fairly, like, upfront that he wasn't going to, like, go use it to, like, buy a bunch of stupid stuff. Mm. Um, right. And I was just like, all right, literally all I had, cash-wise, was a dollar. So, I don't know if I should feel bad that I literally just gave the guy a single dollar. <laughs> but Hey, you I gave wanted... him all you had. Think of it that way. Yeah. You literally yeah. gave all of your wealth to the poor. Well, so that's, <laughs> that's what Jesus like, I mean, would it's so you true, to do. Though, like... Maybe you're the poor if all you had was a dollar. <laughs> right, yeah. Well, well, here's the thing. Like, I actually had a bit... I had, like, a bunch of quarters and, like, nickels mm. in my car. Oh, you need those, though. I need those. You gotta to, play like, more dr- arcade games, man. You gotta go back to the arcade. <laughs> I Full need, circle, there we I go. I need those to get home, because I gotta go through, like, several toll yeah. booths to get home. So, I gave really him a dollar, and I was, I was like, dude, this is this is all I got. And then he was just like, but what about, like, your other car change? Because he could pretty much visibly see all my quarters in the car, and I was like, um, um. Just tell I him I the just, truth. I did. I was yeah, just like, I, I, I gotta use those to get home, man. So... And then I drove away. I, I was nice. encountered by, like, a homeless guy once, or, like, he was, like, panhandling or begging or whatever. And he was, like, telling me, like, oh, I got to, hey, man, I, you got, like, a 20 bucks. I got to go buy some shoes. And I was, like. <laughs> nice. And I, I gave him, like, $2, but he kept, like, asking for more. <laughs> and I'm, like. Like, I had 20 bucks, but, like, I just met the guy. I didn't, like, that's enough to buy, like, a whole carton of cigarettes and mm. alcohol and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And so I just, like, gave him, like, two bucks. I'm like, sorry, man, this is all I can give you for now. now he's like, come on, man, you got to give me more. Was I <laughs> like, there? Like, you got more. I need more than $2. Was like, I, I was there? Like, this sounds really familiar. You no, the mi- same guy I talked to you. Do- awesome. Yeah, it was the same guy. Was that the... No, uh, I don't think you... You might have been, but I don't think you were. Fascinating. But, like... Yeah, he wasn't, like, super aggressive or anything, but, like, he was just like, come on, I need more... I need 20 bucks, dude, for shoes. And yeah. I'm like, I can't. You, you never... <laughs> I'm just like, $2, that's all I can give you. <laughs> you never know with homeless people. Sometimes they yeah. may be telling the truth, and they really are in hard times. Yeah. But other times, they yeah. may just want money for more drugs, because they don't want yeah. to get a job. See... So usually, yeah. like, like, I know what my dad always would do is, like, he would be, like, he's usually in a position where, like, they're, like, I need money for food. And he'll be, like, I will take you. There's a McDonald's yeah, right over here. Yeah, that's just what I was thinking. And that's a smart thing to do because yeah. it, cause it's true because you don't know what they're going to buy with it. Yeah, the best yeah, test I, is I, I you just like, offer to buy them <coughs> food. And if they're, like, nah, never mind. <coughs> yeah, because some, really like, some of them will get, some of them will get mad. Some yeah. guys will get mm-hmm. mad if you yeah. offer to buy them food. I, I heard a story. And it's like, well, I know what you were going to do your money with your money. So, yeah. like. <laughs> I heard a story once of uh, <coughs> someone basically going in to, like, 
a Walmart or something to go get food for somebody, and they came out, and the person was gone. So, hmm. you gotta yeah. be cautious I think with I've these heard kind that of story. things. You yeah. gotta be cautious yeah. with these kind of things. That's it's, true. Because yeah. sometimes it I, I really mean, is somebody who's, like, having a really, really hard time of it. And sometimes it's not, and you gotta discern that, so. Yeah. Well, plus, it's like, I mean, I don't know, like, past couple weeks have been a, like, like a the exception for me but mm. normally like it, anybody like millennial gen z you're not gonna have cash in your like wallet yeah like, pr- you probably don't have cash well, it's mm. nice to have you a know? job now it's like it? <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah yeah but it's like yeah like what do you you know when you're like i don't even know mm. how homeless people even like or like you know if you're begging or whatever like how you even get money half the time because like I, mm. there's so many people that just don't carry cash you know mm-hmm. it's like um yeah, I mean, it depends. Like old, I I tend to find that like people older like tend to have more cash. Like as you get older, because mm-hmm. you're used to it, I guess. I don't yeah. know. Yeah, for me, it's like a card, or pretty soon it'll just be a phone. Probably won't even need a card anymore. Yeah, I, I carry yeah. a lot of cash around because I got to go through like like six toll booths every day on my way yeah. to and from Dude, work. Dude, you need an easy pass. I don't want to get what I've been an telling easy him. pass. They're there so nice. You just run in, you're done. You don't have to throw the change. Yeah. You don't have to I get sure change. It was really you low. just blast <laughs> right through it. You're like good. having change, though. It's, Why? It's, it's so tactile. I'm weird. I get that, but also, like, <laughs> quarters. You like, like to I, bite I, it? I stick, like... <laughs> you that's that's super always the old right it. there. Yeah. This is definitely made out of copper or whatever they, you know, whatever they make quarters they don't out make of. Copper anymore. That's Zinc? Uh, yeah. Oh, like, you're right. They don't use copper. That's why, like, uh, older anyway, pennies like, are quite valuable. <laughs> oh, wow. More you know. I think. Yeah, I'm just guessing. Quor- <laughs> like, I get, I get three quarters in my wallet, and, I, and my wallet's already like this. And it's like, I, I yeah. can't stand it. I can't have... Yeah. Any well, change in my wallet. I, I always carry a little yeah. change. I've gotten used to it. But well, I, do know I don't carry mean. I don't carry like quarters and stuff in my wallet. I put that in yeah. like one of the cup holders of yeah. my car. But like, you know, dollars, yeah. bucks, paper money. I like having that in my wallet personally. I carry solid gold coins yeah. and my address is one two five five eight. No. We need to go back to <laughs> We need to go back to like coins so we can like carry on coins we really don't. again. We, we really need I love Imperial coins. Septums. It's I like literally septums. the most cumbersome, like useless <laughs> method of currency. Do you imagine how heavy that would be on your belt <laughs> yeah. all day? Everyone's pants would be falling down. That's how how rich yeah. someone is of how oh, how like man. pants how low their been. pants are, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like, it would yeah. be, you get robbed so quickly. They just grab your pants when they're on the ground. <laughs> you wouldn't have to pickpocket people. You wouldn't have to you threaten them. pick off the ground. <laughs> you pick pants people. With that, with that. Pants people. Someone steals your card, you just cancel your card. You can't cancel your pants. <laughs> you don't cancel the pants, you cancel the coins. You can't do that either. Cancel the pants. Legal currency. I'm writing that down. That's good. Uh, you that can't is a new Stephen quote. <laughs> oh, that's good. Oh, all right. So with that, we're gonna go ahead and move swiftly onwards to our next. Segment. Oh, I, I kind of forgot to talk about something else significant that happened to me. I'm you know, it's, it's too, too late, late, John. No. All right. I don't know. Uh, that's up to all you. happened was I had a tire you got blow. Two minutes. That's, I had a tire blow. It didn't even really blow. It kind of just fizzled out while I was on the highway. I managed to get to work and. I'm fine. I'm picking it up tomorrow, and all will be good. That's it. That's actually the first time I've had a tire actually flat on me. But really, it's not fun. It's not fun. It's not fun. It could have been a lot worse. It could have actually blown while I was on the highway. Yeah, that was. Yeah, that's actually what the rattling has been this whole time, Jesse. That tire getting worse and worse. uh, I figured as much. I've been telling you to check it out. Yeah, I looked at it. It didn't look bad, but um, my coworker was telling look me, at it from, like, like, fight. You gotta look at it fight. from every angle. <laughs> well, one hey, I could go in there and just... We, yeah, go in his room well, and you guys way, just get some tires, whack each other. I'm replacing Wait, get it Get a tire iron. Get, like, a tire <laughs> iron and start beating each other. Oh, All right, tire me out. Okay. So. All's good. All right. Anyway. Next segment. Uh, the nice. host topic. So, uh, I literally just decided to come up with this randomly. Uh, I didn't come okay. up with anything better. Random so, generator? Uh, uh, no, most random generator like topics are really boring. I know. I've tried. <laughs> nice. Uh, don't do it. Don't <laughs> ever do ideas. it on a date. It's not Baby a good thing. idea. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> okay. <laughs> what? Right. I want, where's that story? I want that. Political affiliation right. in one. Czechoslovakia. So, Were you like? Did you have to check your phone on the date? Like, how the heck did that work? (laughs) Yeah, yeah, no, you just hold it right up, just be like, uh, or what you do is you do you want to be buried or cremated? (laughs) Uh, 
<laughs> what you do is you generate a bunch of uh, topics ahead of time, and you just write them down on your arm. <laughs> oh, dude. do you want to be very? Oh, shoot! They're right. Hey, I, uh, I I just did one. Pick a new subject from random lists. Uh, smoking is one. You can talk about smoking. Uh, my second, the second one's my favorite. Muppets. You could talk about Muppets. Muppets. Parachuting. <laughs> Let's talk about the Muppets! Yeah. I've never seen right. a single right. thing just, from just the Muppets. Right. We're, we're starting the host topic. All right, so my host topic today is uh, let's uh, let's discuss bad but cherished games or movies from our childhood. So, like, Ooh. games or movies that are we know are not very good, but we still love them and have good memories of them. I already have three oh, right shoot. off the bat. All right, well, wow, let's well. start with one for now. Start with, like, let's... They're technically so, all, uh, all related. All right, Jonathan, let's go. The Spy Kids trilogy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. Those are good. Oh, yeah. They're those so are, weird. Those are, are so weird. weird. <laughs> yeah. They're so weird. Uh, I actually really uh, like the second one. The second one actually, I think, has some genuinely good, cool moments in it. It has. But then any, it also any, has some really dumb moments in it. Any moment with Antonio Banderas is, is just... Oh, yeah. Cool. He, was he shines in that He's one. Great. Uh, so all good. three of them are on Netflix now. We need to watch the first one. That's the best of the three. In that, it's the weirdest of the three. <laughs> so I feel like I remember that one the least. That movie oh. is a drug trip. It will like, scar you for life. Wow. We need to like record your reactions <laughs> to that. If you thought I saw the Hermione and a bunch of stuff oh, and Harry <laughs> Potter was that. weird, <laughs> just wait. You already caught a glimpse of it in the second movie with the flashback to Flute yeah. Castle. Of the entire oh. movie is centered around oh, that character, man. Floop and Minion. Remember them? <laughs> I kind of remember the first movie. I think like yeah. I was scarred because they did like they had bas- backward masking on like Back- the stuff. I was like, <laughs> wasn't he enslaving kids to work? He was for enslaving. Him? No, no, no. Like, he had two robot children. Yeah. Don't forget Wait, like the he thumb people gave birth the thumb to people them. Were the, best oh, yeah. the thumb people were the thing I remember. <laughs> Very distinctly. It's so strange. Oh, fun fact. We had like a weird um, show, right? It was like, like, yeah, and it was all backward masked, and they were like, save us! Save us! Yeah, Wasn't yeah, that that, what it that, was? yeah, yeah. That's exactly. what I remember as a kid. I was like, God, that's terrifying. <laughs> yeah. I got it's, over it, but I was like. Yeah, for the longest time, that was like the only one of the Spy Kids movies that we owned. Technically, it still is the only one we own, but it was the only one we owned. We got that on VHS, frequently. baby. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's still the around here somewhere. Videos. <laughs> can, you, can you still buy, like, the um, 3D one with, like, the 3D glasses and stuff? Oh, with it it's probably on eBay somewhere. I'm yeah, looking on eBay okay, now yeah. for that. <laughs> it's going to be wanna, like 100 bucks, I guarantee it. I just want to know what the still home. Have it. What's the home release for like the one that they did, like the fourth one they did, like in like I never years saw ago. that one. I don't count that as they part had, of the trilogy. I'm sure it's I'm yeah. sure it's garbage. Steve I think Hawk it's oh, actually like bad yeah. compared to the first three. The first yeah. three actually but at least like, tried to be fun. Did it have the original <laughs> cast in it? They, they had ha- the two kids. They like cameoed in it, basically. Yeah, huh. they had um yeah. they had I thought the youngest one was a bigger part of the plot, but I don't I, I, I only know saw, Junie like, the was in it. I don't yeah. think Carmen was in it. I don't remember No, they're both in it. They're both in it. They had like a they're both in it. That fourth one, they had like a scratch and sniff pad. So I'm like, do you get that with your DVD copy? I don't think you do. What's the use of being? What do you do? Like download a digital copy? Like what? Hey, win the lottery from 2005. I don't know. know. (laughs) Yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh man. Ridiculous. What's all these uh, Spy Kids spinoffs? Oh, fun fact. Wait, Um, what? Oh, this. There's spinoffs. Oh, that one's animated. I forgot they made an animated What? what? They did? What? It was a Netflix original. Wait, what? What? That's really shocking. Spy Kids Mission Critical. Wait, season Wait, three premiere? It's a TV show? I'm still actually, going? I, I know of this, actually. I forgot this was yeah. a thing. Yeah, I remember seeing this on Netflix, and I saw it, and I was like, this looks like I must have blocked it from memory. It's rated 4.9 out of 10 on IMDb. Uh, oh, my goodness. Oh, my It's rated goodness. what out of 10? 4.9 out of 10. Wow. It a, looks like ooh. the most generic, like, it looks like ooh. every other Netflix original kid show ever. Spy ooh. Kids. All right, it does not look good. It looks 40. Ooh. Spike. Oh, oh, it's it's computer animated. I don't know why I thought it was cartoon animated. That at least would give it some class. <laughs> this is yeah. just the most generic. No, they don't it 2D animate. It really bad. Ooh. It looks so generic. Wow. This looks so bad. No, wow. no, 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 I am not Close impressed in the slightest. 4.9. 4.9 out of 10. Yeah. yeah What's the name of this show again? Oh, I'm, I'm Spy, Spy Kids, Kids Mission, Mission Critical. Critical. 
What a stupid name. All right, Spy Kids. <laughs> this whole yeah, well, this whole show is in Mission Critical. critical. Right. That's what's in Critical Mission. <laughs> <laughs> there was one other spinoff. What was that? Wait, My what? internet's being. I, I don't see anything else. It's passing yeah, the torch. there's a little lag on your camera, but you know. Huh. What is this? I just typed Eight in minutes? spy mission. Oh, it's a Google. short. Wow. What is this? <laughs> Gosh. I like how they kind of so, tried to model it off of the kids from the original movie. Yeah, well, the, yeah, <laughs> they did. Except like if I they were, it, that, it's like if they don't look anything. Like yeah, them. it looks like them, but they, it's like if they were in Jimmy Neutron. Is what it looks like. I, I guess. Also, oh. I've noticed that the thumbnails for the first three movies don't actually feature the Spy Kids. It just features Antonio Banderas, um, his brother character. I forget the actor's name, and two random robots. <laughs> But the point is, none of the Spy Kids are actually in the thumbnails for the first three movies. Which is kind of funny. No, they are in this one. Oh, well, then again, Netflix does change their thumbnails frequently, so... Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Netflix thumbnails anyway. don't count. Um, fun All fact right. I discovered recently, uh, the guy that composed the music for Metal Gear Solid actually worked on the Spy Kids movies. He helped compose some <laughs> of the soundtrack. So he went the from, like, good. Snake! So snake! Good. To thumb people. <laughs> Wouldn't it have been in reverse, though? Uh, yeah, he technically, yeah, he did the original Metal Gear Solid, and then, yeah, then he went to work on Spy Kids, so that's even weirder. That seems like a downgrade. Honestly, though, the music in Spy Kids is actually pretty decent, if you listen to it. Yeah, it is. There's some pretty good tracks. All right, uh, Steven. Yo. Uh, You got, like, a something from your childhood, some game, a movie. It's just, you know it's not good. (sighs) I wish I could have thought of something. Um, I know there's been, like... I can't think of anything. I, I mean, Spy Kids, that was a big one. But I, I like that from, like, back in the day. You don't have any, like, games that you played, like, growing up? I know there have been. <laughs> I just can't think of them. Yeah. Oh, I thought of another one, but I already went. We can well, save that for next time. <laughs> oh, I know there's been TV shows that, like, I watch. I just can't think of any of them. What about Luke, games? you got one while Steven thinks? Let's see, game or movie? Um, okay, so it'd be a bad childhood, chi- cherished childhood one. Um, I don't know. I guess recently I kind of thought about the Bionicle movies. The Bionicle. Because those were, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they did three Bionicle movies. Me and Steven oh, yeah. still talked about rewatching them sometimes. Okay, we so both grew up <laughs> yeah, on interesting. Six. We actually, yeah, those were great. We actually have yeah. a third Bionicle like, movie. It was like gifted to us by a friend. We've never watched it. Yeah, we just have the oh, DVD. We're not into it. Watch watch we should do it. that. We should do a live reaction. <laughs> yeah, was the third one like the worst one or the best one? I don't even know. They were about all the I same feel like level it, of like. I don't remember. I did watch. I mean, the animation. Um, I hate everything. Yeah. Review the first one. The animation's pretty old. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It is. I don't think it, it looks is. terrible <laughs> for like yeah, it's 20... probably, I think it looked good at the time. Yeah, right, 2004, yeah. that would have been pretty good. Like a straight-to-DVD, yeah. like, 3D movie. I don't know how many of those there were, yeah. CGI. Because they touted that on the box. They were like, a fully CGI film, because 2D animation wasn't completely dead yeah. at that point, I guess. In were 20- they still yeah. touting that even in, like, 2004? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, they were like, it's completely CGI like, film. Like, that was a big thing on the box. video game. It's like, two- yeah. okay, Toy Story came out in 1993. Or ninety one. Yeah, or did it yeah. Come but like, hang on, I gotta get this right. Or people this are was a me. this was a toy company putting in like I assume not. What was the budget on those? What was the budget on a Bionicle movie? But yeah, oh, it was not 90, always like ninety five. I thought it was before that. Oh, I get, Bionicle I'm probably mixing movies. it up with Star Fox SNES, which did come out in ninety three. Budget. So Toy Story was actually oh, ninety five. Two- I'm sorry, two thousand three for the first one. Oh my gosh. I just got reminded of a really old game. Ooh. We'll get oh, onto yeah, that. Yeah. Star so, Fox came out in 1993. First which off, was actually the first 3D game um, for a console. You guys are gonna have to anyway. let me know, but like, uh, five, like about five mil each for these. So, like, I don't know. Would that have been a lot back then or not? Uh, for a, like five straight what? to DVD film, five million. I don't know if that's actually uh, a lot. I feel like that's actually not that much for like. An I don't think I, mean, I don't much, think five yeah. million is much for any film. <laughs> yeah. So uh, you otherwise. know what? Heck, maybe it's impressive for like what they did back then. I don't know. I think the lava looked 
pretty bad pretty quick, if I remember right. Though. Yeah. Anyway, I don't know. Is those movies, old, from what I those remember. movies were something. I know. Uh, I hate everything. Speaking of, he would always complain about how the one of the main characters. I think the guy was like Canadian, <laughs> trying trying to sound as American as he could. <laughs> like he's like. We have to go fight the Rahi! Like, that's how we would talk the whole movie. Oh, and I don't know how I could have watched that movie. We gotta add that to the list. The other guy... I remember it. The other guy was okay, I think. Mm-hmm. But, like, the... Uh, like, because they said that, like... <laughs> it's really funny, actually, because I remember as a kid I was into, like, the documentary side. I wanted to see, like, mm-hmm. how they made these movies. So they had them both for the opposite role. So the one guy would have been the main character and the other guy would have been his sidekick, basically. But they ended up, like, saying, like, in the booth, they were like, I actually think you'd be better for this guy. Looking back on it, I think it's just because the other guy sucked so bad that they weren't going to make him the main character. Be like, because he becomes, like, the good, like, he becomes, like, the big hero at the end. So he'd be like, all right, guys, I'm going to, like, you'd have to listen to that for, like, that movie. Mm-hmm. And I don't know. They probably didn't know if they were going to do a sequel with them or not, which they didn't, but they probably didn't know. Um, yeah. And then the other guy would have been like, Hi guys, I'm the sidekick. I'm fairly decent at voice acting, I guess. I'd probably watch it and still be like, well, they both suck. <laughs> but I do remember as a kid, I was always like, the, all the voice actors are exactly how I would imagine for the character, like, in my head. Mm-hmm. So Probably because they knew that's how kids thought, even though it didn't need to be good. You know? <laughs> like, even like the voice kids. acting for the Bionicles in my head was bad. Okay, oh, whoa, cool. you totally yeah, just kids you totally voice cut acting out there. their heads. Again. Oh. I would say, like, even the voice acting for them in my head was bad. Yeah, yeah. I think that's, they know oh, okay. that. They know that kids, like, are really bad voice actors. <laughs> that's my theory. All right, Steven, we're coming cool. back to you. Did you, oh, did you shoot, think of anything? Like, I mean, there was stuff that's, like, good that I li- I liked a lot of, like... I like things that are good, I mean, too. I was the youngest person in my family, as I know many of us here are. Mm-hmm. So, like, I just liked whatever my brothers liked. Mm-hmm. You know, I think and I'm so the only they, elder you know, brother here, actually. The yeah, that's only true. Elder sibling. <laughs> they, w- they were able to weed out a lot of the stupid stuff that I would like. No, Power Rangers. Power Rangers. <laughs> I love Power Rangers, and it's terrible. So, yeah. Power it's Rangers so good. is good now. That's one dude. thing Power we should so not good. grow up with in the slightest. Power Rangers for how big that oh. one was. Oh my god, Power it's Rangers so was... cheesy, but it's so <laughs> yeah. good. Yeah, it's from so what I've seen, it looks like the cheesiest, most over the top. Dude, first, first. First episode. Didn't we watch the first episode together? Yeah, I think first, so. First episode of Power Rangers, the main villain of the series, astronauts discover, and they're like, "What is that? That looks like a space dumpster." <laughs> and it's like, and then Rita, Rita Repulsa riding. comes out. Yeah, yeah. Like, I wonder if it was like that in Japanese too, because it was oh, like was uh, that originally Japanese. <laughs> Yeah, so oh, okay. what they did Gosh, is, like, the Everything guy... American is actually Japanese. That's what I've learned over the past few years. <laughs> no, it's true, though. Like, it really the, But for Power, Power Rangers, what happened with that is it was this guy, Saban, and that's, like, he's, he's an American, not a Japanese guy. Like, um, uh, he's, like, he was, um, like, he bought the rights for this show, right? This Japanese show. And mm-hmm. it's, like, they're fighting monsters or whatever, right? They completely rewrote it so that they could cut away to like mm-hmm. high school kids that become yeah. the Power Rangers. So it's like it's insane how this ever got put together or why as a kid I never noticed that like the body types on all these guys were completely different. <laughs> you know, like they it's didn't amazing. even look the same. Wow. It's amazing. <laughs> there's I think there's one of the movies where like they have like a little kid that becomes a Power Ranger so he's like an adult when he's a Power Ranger, but he's like a kid when he, <laughs> which is like amazing. Oh and they never I don't think they ever reference it. Like, they're just kind of, like, maybe once, and then that's it. That's um, amazing. So, wait, how many episodes or okay, seasons wow, they really did they Japanese, do that for? Kind of. Way too many. I'm sure they did way too we- many. Oh! No, for, like, the, the um, it being, like, two different shows filmed, you know, that I'm cut not away. sure. How long did uh, it go on see. for? Because I remember Power you Rangers. telling me that it couldn't have been, like, super long. Power Rangers. Uh, was it just that first like series or season? It could have been the whole series, the first series, right? Yeah, I'm not. Man, these outfits are so cheesy. <laughs> it's so yeah, good. Yeah. I love it. They got better. I, I, I always like how popular. they had... like kids. Definitely like the colors are very flamboyant over yeah. top. Yeah. Like I can actually see well, myself turn... getting into this growing well, yeah, up. Like, cause, and you'd always know which ones. Monsters are over exaggerated. Yeah. And they all morph mm. into stuff. 
Yeah. I just yeah. missed out. Well, that's what's great about it. It's like, um, it's, um, yeah, it's like one of those things where it's like everybody's color coded, you know, their character. It's color coded, like, so even easier. dumb kids like you can understand it. Yeah, exactly. Really. No, it's, it's <laughs> that's for real, though. It. Yeah, that's, it's one of those things. I think a lot of Japanese media, they, they do that. They color code yeah. the characters. Yeah. Like, they give them like the color suit and stuff. Mario, Luigi, Sonic. Yeah, Voltron um, was a good example, Kojima too. doesn't really do that. Well, I guess he kind of does. Well, I mean, he's not making kid shows, so, yeah, like... True. Yeah. <laughs> How do you know? You haven't played Metal Gear Solid. I would Solid. love to see him do a kid show, though. All right, oh, kids. Oh, yeah. That'd actually be kind of I'm going to open up the okay, map, so... kids. What, what, where's the lake that we need to get to, kids? Click on the lake. Very good. <laughs> oh god, I, I would not be comfortable. None of my kids would not play that game. Um, All right, Snake died, okay. kids. What do you say when Snake dies? That's right, <laughs> <laughs> Snake. Snake. That actually would be amazing. Um, Someone needs uh, to make a parody of that. Actually, do, yeah, do it one eighty. <laughs> let's do that since we talked about it. I mean, somebody will take our it's idea. ours. We're trademarking it. Um, Hashtag don't steal. Yeah. <laughs> So, um, so Mighty Morphin Power Rangers first season had 60 episodes. Interesting. Second, second season had 52 episodes. Oh my gosh, why is there an anther lion in this picture? Third season, or, oh, is that Goldar? It's probably Goldar. I don't know who that is, but yeah. that's probably him. Um, and then third season was 33 episodes. And that's just for Mighty Morphin, which is like the main one that I think most people probably grew up with. Um, how did I even grow up with this? Because this came out like 94 reruns it was heavily rerun yeah, yeah that first season, i don't remember what channels or what like what was the one i watched because i remember there was the one i watched the green ranger had green like his hair was dyed green huh so like, but he was the only character that was like that right so like they didn't dye their hair just him he was like yeah. a twitch streamer i guess i don't know <laughs> like but he had like green hair and stuff he was a 2016 youtuber yeah exactly yeah, yeah. Well, this was back, like, early 2000s, so it, like, would have been, like... Remember, dyed hair was big then, too? Like, neon mm. dyed hair. Uh, hmm. Now it's back. Um, <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Yeah, Thanks, Ranger Ninja. Was it was probably... I'm Actually, gonna assume it's Dino Ninja. Thunder. Because I remember the dinosaur... Well, they always had a dinosaur theme. Yeah. And kids yeah, love see. dinosaurs. Uh, That's why they made Barney. Oh, wait. <laughs> Barney. Dude, well, there's no Green see. Ranger in this. The green, the green ranger. They was he was always the one that they choose to do like the most like storyline stuff with. So I think he was kind of in and out occasionally. He's always like in the yeah, center. So Dino like, Thunder. I get the don't. impression he's the leader. Yeah. He also has the most. He was kind of flamboyant of shoulder pads compared to everyone else. He was always Lost like the Galaxy. odd one of the Maybe bunch that they Galaxy. always try to do a lot with. Hmm? Yeah. They had like I remember they had like it was a weird like sci-fi show. They did like a weird sci-fi show with yeah. Power Rangers. I There's got to be like 20 bit. Power Rangers Isn't series. Power Rangers they had like already sci-fi. There were a couple of them that they tried to do like Star Trek with and be, make them put on a ship that, or something. Yeah, <laughs> so, well, there's. I think one of the most Star recent yeah. ones. Yeah. I think one of the most recent ones I heard they put them on a pirate ship. So they're like pirates. Oh, I think I heard like about that. I remember pirates. seeing ads for Power Rangers. And that's recent. Like way back yeah. towards before we canceled cable. <laughs> like you remember Jesse? Power Rangers had some weird no. stuff. This oh, is yeah, way maybe. back in like 2011 or just before we canceled cable. And I think that might be the one you're talking about because I do recall a pirate ship on that one. And I love how all the monsters, even in the more modern shows, still look fake. I think it's intentional. Like, they're just clearly wearing Yeah, yeah at this point. Do they even use like, like a Japanese show stuff? and turn it into it? No, that's not him either. Dang it. Okay, I can't figure I out which one it was so. that I saw. I don't know. That Ooh. one, I want to rewatch that one. I'm sure it's way worse than I'm remembering, but it was like a, it had like this weird, like, I felt like it had an ongoing storyline, but I also think I only saw two episodes of it as a kid, so, mm -hmm. you know, who knows? Who knows? Um, but that was the one that I think was airing when I was a kid. Um, mm. But I, I think I still ended up watching Mighty Morphin more than anything else. That was like was, the definitive series. Yeah. I just, well, that yeah. had the most, I mean, that had three seasons. Everything else has one from what I can yeah. see. I still haven't watched the movie, which I kind of want to watch. I just know I I'm recall watch seeing that. I don't remember. one of the movies, yeah. or maybe it was just one movie. It involved a villain using ooze to control people. Ivan Ooze, yeah. Uh, I... uh, otherwise known as Apocalypse from uh, <laughs> the X Men yeah. movie. I he saw exactly that like Ivan Ooze. a long time ago. It was in the back yeah. room of one of our karate dojos a long time that... ago. 
That sounds like the plot of, like, the new season of Power Rangers. Like, (laughs) Jonathan goes back to watch a Power Rangers movie in a karate dojo, and all the karate dojo kids become Power Rangers. Yeah, it inspires (laughs) us. The power just directly transfers into us. Just like, I'm a Power Ranger now! I'm going to go do something (laughs) over-exaggerated! That actually... That's, right, has that happened yet? Is that like me- where it's like a meta Power Rangers where it's right, uh, in universe they have the show? All right, all right. Anyway, we haven't Power seen Rangers. Power Rangers, yeah. therefore we're not right. interested. Moving on, <laughs> just <Yeah. laughs> gotta keep gotta keep this going. Yeah, all right. Uh, it's getting late so, too, and I have work in the morning. I'd prefer not to be late. Same. But I, I we still got time. time so yeah. Well. yeah. So um, a weird thing that I uh, just recently started remembering um. Uh, not a very good game. Uh, so we all know Spore. Oh yeah. I'm not yeah. saying anything about Spore. I actually love Spore, but Spore Hero. For <laughs> Wii. <laughs> I remember that. Oh my gosh! All the nostalgia oh, flooded back. I never I even forgot played about that, that. But I remember that game. I love that game. I was going it's to play not it at some good. point. I never got it's, around. Wait, to I it. played that with and you. Frankly, didn't I have no regrets. I think you, <laughs> think you might have. It's not. I a vaguely very, remember yeah. it. I saw enough of that game. Fighting game. But it's also yeah, like, it was, yeah. It was hot garbage. But it's also like an adventure game. It's an adventure where you fighting go around game. Like, and like you still have the spore customization of your character, so it's it's kind of neat. But it's also not good. Like it's a cool concept, but very yeah. flawed in its, it's execution. Also really, really short. The main thing I remember yeah, from see- that game is when you beat the main villain, you can just make him look really dopey, and he gets embarrassed. Oh and yeah. Away at the end. <laughs> Yeah, you can just, like, Oh, that's great! Because, obviously, that's the awesome. advantage was the Spore customization system of that game. That was its yeah. main yeah. selling point. But See, now it has to... a story! <laughs> Specifically, yeah. the creature See, story. they tried to make, like, a... Um, they tried to make, like, spinoffs of that game, like, with mm. the customization. That probably, if they knew what they were doing, probably could have worked. Yeah. yeah. Also, I think if Spore was, like, more popular, more you know, well received to yeah. begin with too. Galactic Adventures well. really made the game way better. Like that Galactic Adventures was yeah. the best thing they could have done for that game because kind there yeah. were some really cool like yeah. adventure missions that people made. Yeah. But I yeah, wish I could go back and play. Like they were that good, but I can't because the servers are down now. But yeah, yeah, I, I had a lot of try fun to with do that a playthrough of that sometime. Nudge, mm-hmm. nudge, wink, wink. A spore Hero or Spore? One up both. Spore. Let's do both first off. Let's do both. Oh, let's play. Let's play Dark Spore while we're at it. Oh wait! Oh, you can't did you ever, anymore. Did you post that, did that video? Game ever, I don't think so. Did that game ever actually come I out? I should find that footage. Yeah, it did. Oh, they, no, they, I bought. I bought Dark Spore at like a like a second and Charles like a. Second, I remember trying to buy right that game for you, but it wasn't out yeah. yet for like one of your birthdays. Mm-hmm. Oh wow! So. I'm so glad you didn't. No, for, no, for Jesse. Uh, <laughs> not, no, not for no. you. For Jesse. I'm so glad I buy you buy a for Jesse. gift. <laughs> but we're talking about like back <laughs> before kidding. it came out. Yeah. You know when so it would still have been dark. Sp- dark Spore. I bought it for like three bucks. You know, it's just unopened copy, right? And me and Jesse tried to do a video of it. Probably so we downloaded it, it, or like not download, installed it, got it all ready, and they were like, "This is a DRM game. You, c- our servers are down, so you can't play it even single player." Uh-oh. That was back when that was <laughs> at its game, height. The game has lost the time. The Xbox yeah. One was almost like that. Remember those days? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Fortunately, they That was back. like the height of that is when Dark Spore came out. And it was like... Yeah, it yeah. was trying to we be edgy. We would monitor it you at all times. It was kind of a pity. Yes, yeah. They actually had like players create monsters to be the villains for that game. Or to be the main... Yeah. Like, like yeah. It looked fight. like it. I'm pretty sure it was like a somewhat well-received... like Like... Was that another uh, adventure game? Action game. I think everybody said it was all right. Yeah. But like, yeah, I don't know. I would have loved to have played it. Yeah, same. I can't. I literally can't. Unless there's some way. I nah, think there's like they're tr- people are trying to make like a way around it, like trying to like like just create yeah, right? a localized server. version of it. Can't be that yeah. hard. There should be a way to do that. Can't but you I'm... just use like Kamachi or whatever? No, to... no. It literally needs to be connected to like the Dark Spore servers to run work yeah yeah wow. we're talking like yeah hard drm like they would there was a couple years where the game industry was like hardcore trying to like oh yeah you I remember have that. to have I the internet to play a single player game yeah yeah and like dark sport didn't have remember when like, sim city 4 did that yeah, multiplayer i'm pretty sure but. yeah when <laughs> sim city 4 did that that went that worked oh, well yeah 
Oh, you mean yeah. nobody Simpsons could five? Sim oh, oh yeah, SimCity. Yeah, yeah, my bad. Yeah, wow. <laughs> SimCity four is amazing. SimCity five is the one that sucked because you literally could not play the game for two weeks oh, after yeah. it came out. And then when people finally did oh, play it, it was like really that. mediocre. Just forget about that game. Play City Skylines instead. That's a great game. I think I have that. Or SimCity four. <laughs> or that too. Yeah. Oh. City Skylines is like SimCity four, but newer and three D and amazing. And and it's got mods too. Yeah. Alrighty, <laughs> let's move on to the next segment. All right, so yeah. next segment on the list is oh yeah yeah Stephen's dog of the day. <laughs> My dog of the week. All right, Flash day. post that dog, Stephen. All let's right, take a look at this. I like dog, dog of the day so better because it's alliterative. I searched dogs. I don't know if alliterative on is Instagram, word, word. and I just this is the first one I found that I liked. So this send me the little dude's name. Send yeah. me the page, by the way. Is uh, Bayas. <gasps> oh my gosh, he's a little it's, marshmallow. It's spelled B A J A S. I assume it's Bayas or. Oh, Bayas. he's got a lens or, flare. Is that JJ Abrams' dog? But no, <laughs> no. That's like the greatest. But he is dog. a West Highland White Terrier, also known yes. as a Westie. Oh. And he is. He just travels around Norway with his owner on Instagram. Oh. Of course, they're from Norway. Oh my god. That Send me a, the Instagram. I want to look the a, whole Instagram page. What a that is a high quality dog. Look Norwegian at that. That's a high quality doggy. pic of a high look quality dog. Look at that dog. Dog. Is he in a space suit? Oh, <laughs> That looks like a space suit. <laughs> That's his fur. <laughs> that is a He's going to be in Death Stranding. <laughs> oh my god. So... Honestly, uh, oh, my that's favorite Oh, great, thing great dog. Oh, my God. You know, so... Okay, I gotta say, though, like, sometimes, you know, when life isn't fair... Do you see the mm. guy that owns the dog? Yeah. That guy's, like, a 1,000% <laughs> Chad. Like, he's yeah. buff, chiseled face, and he's got a cute puppy. Like, it's not fair. <laughs> it's not fair. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. That is just like... Look at that guy. The guy's gotta have... Like women for all like, like the women that don't women. like him for some reason, he just has the dog to get the remaining percent. <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, he's got yeah, a kid. Exactly. There's a picture of him with Wait, a kid. Where? He's got oh, himself, okay. What? Wait, he's got himself like it. a little blonde boy. Can, can you post oh, it? Yeah. I don't. Maybe see that's it. like Here, a baby I'll, picture. I'll, of him. I'll Who does the guy picture. look like? He looks like some um, actor, and I cannot put my finger on who he looks like. He really uh, likes to get, take pictures of his back. Anyway, yeah. my oh, favorite... Oh, if you go to that guy's actual Instagram, there's even more. It's just all pictures I... of his back. Yeah. I... Oh, my I'll goodness. Just... <laughs> yeah, you weren't kidding. <laughs> See, that guy is, like, incredibly chiseled. I'm trying to think of what <laughs> Huey looks like. My face I want... is a I'll... lady magnet, and he my kinda... dog attracts the rest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's amazing. All right, well... Anyway. I feel inferior. <laughs> good dog. Anyway. Uh, good, uh, that looks like a man. Good that owner, like, I was, he's going to accomplish something to change the world and make like a million dollars and get a Nobel Prize or ten. And well, I mean, he's probably making a lot of money. He's going to off. cause he's global warming just so he can stop it and become a hero. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Yeah, he's... Um, that being said, though, like, my favorite kind of dogs are dogs that, like, look like a beard. Just kind of came to life. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. like, this kind of terrier, like, I kind of want one of these now. Uh, Behold my yeah. majesty. I am beard. He's a cool little dude. All right. Yeah. Cool dude? Cool dog? All right. Cool. Yep. <laughs> well done, Steven. Great dog of the day. Thank you. All well right. Done. Next, uh, next we're going to be doing a Luke's Reboot Corner. So Luke's Reboot Corner. All right. I need a theme song, but we'll... Get there when we get there. I probably shouldn't like nice face terrible. away from the camera. <laughs> this is how I'm doing the podcast for the rest of the night, guys. <laughs> Much better. Thank you, Jonathan. I like that a lot. See this ugly mug. All right. <laughs> so Luke's reboot corner. Um, something I like to do just when I'm like not. I don't have anything else to think about or anything important to do on my mind. Um, I like to think about how you would reboot stuff. I don't know why. It's just mm. fun. We have well, so many crappy reboots nowadays. It's really easy, Luke. So. You just gotta press the power button. <sighs> <laughs> the obvious joke is obvious. I'm fired, aren't I? I'm sorry. I'll go now. Yeah, oh, you're no. never coming back. You're not. You're oh. not an idiot anymore. You're too smart. <laughs> that's a genius level joke. Um, yeah. So, Jonathan, so come back. I'm back. So, um, <laughs> Whoa. I'm gonna Don't experiment scare. with some right. stuff for this section. So I want to do, you know, somewhat like. Yeah, what would this actually work? Mostly probably goofy stuff. Um, but 
I wanted to go over something I thought that actually Jonathan and Jesse would know maybe more about than me to help me kind of come up with this reboot. Ooh, what uh, is this? I was looking at, I was actually looking at Tom and Jerry Ooh. as a reboot. So like, it's a classic cartoon. Thing is, I was thinking thing, about though, this. They kind of have rebooted it recently, multiple times. Yeah. There's well, actually a modern like show going with... on right now that I've heard is actually pretty decent. Hmm. Really? It started in I didn't 2017. know about that. Like, the art style is initially a little weird. It's different. I think I saw like a little bit of it. Send me a clip Hang of on. that because that Tom basically Tom and this Jerry, ru- twenty nineteen. What's the name of this? Because that ruins my entire pitch. Because I kept <laughs> that, that I, I kept going I'm on the Wikipedia sure it's just page like for it. The new the Tom and Jerry show. I think that's literally what it's called. Okay, well that's probably what I'd end up calling it. Too, I, I so. put in Tom and Jerry uh, twenty nineteen. This is kind of what the art style is. Yeah, I I think I saw a little bit of it. Yeah. Yeah. Copy image. And Wait. Oh. Oh, hang on. Uh, uh, uh. Hang on. Hang on. I got this. I got this. It says 2014. Here we go. Yeah. The Tom huh. and Jerry show. Is it like still running or? Yeah, I've heard, and from what I've seen, they've just gone back to like the classic antics, just Four like seasons. Classic. Oh, uh, that's great. Um, cartoon violence. I'm trying to think of the name. Slapstick. I could kind of see that. Like, and they I've made heard it it's pretty decent. From cleaner. what I've seen, it, it it's good. Cool. It gets the job done. <laughs> And uh, honestly, cool. the art style kind of grew on me. They got the character designs right, yeah. which I appreciate. Have you, yes. like, watched a lot of it? I've watched a few clips of it way back in the day. Back in the day. I don't know why I said that. You mean, like, <laughs> not too long ago? ago. Um, like, yeah, and they're doing ago, a few months season. ago, maybe, sometime last year. But, yeah, the fact that they're Does still. Does anybody have any reboot stuff. ideas? Because that ruins all that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't really. There go. Still I literally Wikipedia it and I didn't uh, see a reboot. Let's been, reboot um, Luke's actually, reboot there, is, <laughs> there is a fun fact. They've actually been rebooting Tom and Jerry many, many times. Um, yeah. Let me. Um, well, they did. There's a picture that shows well, all the different versions of them that have been rebooted over the years. Here it is. Uh, copy. I saw, like, I was looking up some footage just to, like, kind of get a feel for paste. it. And I saw, like, the Hanna Bar. I ha- saw the Hanna Barbera version of it, and it just didn't look quite right. So, paste. we have the very first one from 1948. Yeah, 58. Um, his original 1958 name, version. Or 1940. His name was actually Jasper back then. Huh. And the pilot. That was his name. Then they changed it to Tom. Okay. And I, Jonathan, I'm going to have to. I know where you're going. I don't want to do a whole history lesson on Tom and Jerry right now. <laughs> for a five minute section summarize. that I've, I've barely talked. His face is like section. Tom and Jerry section. His face yeah, goes from going section. It's like super yep. round and plump to like a bit sharper, yeah. more refined. I then will, I will point out 19... Era. The 1950 like, one looks demonic. Jonathan, you're doing 19, the history. Well, yeah, yes, like, you literally told you not to do that. Whatever. He said we would If you look like the 19... The 1958 version is the one I was thinking of. Like, that one is the Hanna-Barbera version, I think. Yeah, that was that actually a later Hanna-Barbera. Look, yeah, it looked not... It didn't look quite right to me. I was like, something's not they quite right. They were doing Plus, something Hanna, different with Hanna the Barbera, for some reason. Yeah. And then they switched Hanna over. Hanna-Barbera's known for, like, the cheaper animation, too. So yeah. it kind of, mm. like... Actually, like... Affects it. During, like... Because, like, the animation the for original, uh, like, OG Tom and Jerry is, like, actually really good. Yeah, yeah. You know, when you that's watch like it that was also Hanna, Hanna, Barbera. Hanna Barbera, wasn't it? Um, that was early, early Hanna, Hanna Barbera. I don't think. But then the, was it they Hanna got Barbera? to a point where wasn't they started. It, like, wasn't it Warner Bros. or is Hanna Barbera also owned okay, by Warner Bros. This up. It's probably owned by the same, but it's like Warner different Bros. people doing it. Um, but yeah, creator. Is, I was. This is literally I mean, just Hanna Barbera. Yeah. This is the Tom and Jerry hour now. Um. But, that being said, we could also talk about actual reboots that are happening. Yeah. They're doing... It's not a reboot, but they are doing a Tom and Jerry movie in 2021. Ah, uh, yes. I just hmm. found out. Is from that going movie. to be related to the... Uh, Tell me it's not live it's not, action! It's, it's not... Wait, is it live it's action? It's a live... It's a live no, action. No, no! No! I'm going on the <laughs> no! Bye-bye, bye-bye. No! Don't do that! Why? It's like we've why? seen what happens with the Garfield movies. We don't. Yeah, do this. it's. I'm like, why are we uh, still stuck in like 2005, where we're making the live action? If they, it, it might be a 2D hybrid. Did you not yeah, see I was gonna say, if they did you do, not see Yogi Bear? Did you not see the yeah. freaking Cats movie? Give me up, Cats! I couldn't tell. That isn't enough of an indication I, not to make Tom and Jerry live action. Cats 2019. Look it up. <laughs> I hope they. I hope it looks like T. Actually, don't look it up. CGI. Don't give yourself the nightmares. Yeah. Don't look up Cats 2019. 
probably already seen, already seen it. Already now, seen it. now if it was like I, a I Space sorry. Jam type thing, if it was like a Space yeah. Jam type thing, then okay, I would yeah. actually be have cartoons maybe. interacting with live action characters. That's fine. That's great. I love I, that. Well, imagine they might like, do that. Imagine like a like a like Tom and Jerry integrated into like an actual like room. Just get rid of people. Don't have real people characters. Just animated 2D Tom and Jerry in a live action room. Just breaking stuff. That could be fun. That could be yeah. fun. I think they did That's how I like reboot that, it. Yeah. In the reboot corner. That other... Yeah. The sequel to Space Jam. What was it called? Looney Tunes Back in Action. That one. I actually really loved that movie. That was fun. I like that one. When was that a sequel to Space Jam? Was that a sequel to Space Have Jam? Have you not seen Back in Action? Uh, it was I don't think like it was a like direct... it's the same idea, right? It's not yeah, but it was not like a direct. It. It's sequel. just like the same okay. like idea of. I was gonna say it's I was like, like, it was like that. Plot, different characters, like yeah. They're still trying to reboot Space Jam. I don't know when that's happening. <laughs> I don't know why are people so obsessed with Space Jam. I, I don't know because fun. I'm like, it was I'm sure it was not a good movie. Right? It was no. okay at no. best. Like I actually preferred. Kids loved it. I. I loved it as a kid. I actually like, I think everybody else like did. preferred Looney Tunes back in action. I agree. I think that is like that was like an adventure movie. movie. <laughs> Where's like Brendan Fraser? So. <laughs> was he in that? <laughs> yeah, he was the main maybe guy. That's, he was. You maybe that's scene. why it, you had a scene where Brendan Fraser. Oh, Luke, you got to watch Brendan Fraser. Oh yeah, because he was amazing. <laughs> oh, that's good. Because at one point Brendan Fraser, Fraser plays himself later on and. His, like the main character Brendan Fraser plays is like an actor, and I keep messing <laughs> up his name. I like. I Brendan don't know who Brendan Fraser. 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 <laughs> Just keep going. Brendan Change Flavor. his name every single time. <laughs> Brendan Fraser plays a stunt man that stunts for Brendan Fraser's actual person. It's weird. <laughs> Just watch the. That movie. sounds good. That's very Looney Tunes. Yeah. yeah. It was a like. It's not a great movie, but it is entertaining. It's especially very entertaining. if you like. Fun. Especially if you like a twelve-year-old kid. Yeah. Uh, all right, that's enough for Luke's reboot corner. Luke, you'll get him next time. Yeah, I'll figure <laughs> something out. I didn't realize there was a reboot you, of you it did? already. You did in four. That's the thing with the reboot corner is that everybody reboots every. Okay, so I didn't have time because what I want to do is we'll watch stuff that's like, ne- like d- just nobody's gonna reboot it, and we yeah. re- we will write the reboot. Yeah. Um, yeah. However, a couple things just before we move on, just for the since I've already like. Mm-hmm. Okay, so the reboot, and they're already doing classic Tom and Jerry. That was my whole pitch was that they're not going to do them beating the crap out of each other. They can't do that mm-hmm. on TV anymore. Apparently, it's fine. They can do that. So cool. Um, but uh, they keep doing these like crossover movies oh, now. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. So like with Willy Wonka and crap. So I think that we should get um, Tom and Jerry with the next Mad Max and Furry Road. Wait, what? Tom Say that again? Yeah, yeah. Cut out. Mad Max. Mad Max. Fur- yeah. Furry Road. Oh, gosh. Furry that Road. can be taken out yeah. of context. So they'll be... So they'll... <laughs> yeah. So they're there with... Uh, they're there with Tom Hardy, and uh, it's just them, but they're, like, goofing around during the fight scenes and stuff. Can we actually just, can like, work. incorporate Tom and Jerry into live-action movies that already exist? Just, like, draw them over scenes and have them doing, like, yeah. antics and stuff in the background. Yeah. I think that'd be perfect. That'd now, be great. That'd be, that was actually that one weird said, thing I, about I, the Willy Wonka movie. The slapstick with Tom and Jerry was actually good, apparently. Yeah. Yeah, but they just don't fit into the plot. Yeah, they don't. At all. <laughs> um, Speaking of crossovers, also, let's it, just throw it, them into Super Smash Bros. Let Luke talk! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry. And just to finish off, I was trying to figure out, because I'm like, would they make it voice acted nowadays for Tom and Jerry? Because usually that's like they don't have a voice, you know? Except for, like, some movies do they give them a voice and nobody likes it. Don't do that. Mm-mm. No, don't do that. I'm Tom! Nolan North. I'm Jerry! Uh, yes! <laughs> <laughs> Nolan North as... I was think, trying to figure out if he's Tom and Jerry or Jerry. N- Nolan then, um, North as Tom, Troy Baker as Jerry. Yes! That's what exactly what oh, I was thinking and Stephen of. Bloom as Butch, the cat. <laughs> yeah! Yes! Oh, and... Yes. Uh, That's my oh, that's another. Who, who do we yeah. get as uh, the dog? Uh, As the dog? Um, oh, uh, John DiMaggio. See, I would have got. Who? See, I would have gotten. Is John DiMaggio? Is that? Maybe you're thinking of somebody else. Well, I don't know. I almost think that the Spike the dog could have been. Um, no, it's John DiMaggio. That was actually who I was going of. for, and I actually said Butch by accident. But actually, he would. His gruff voice really works for Butch as well. Yeah. No, yeah. Uh, John he DiMaggio. Either, um. Uh, John DiMaggio. He like did. Um, Bender and Futurama. He did like the King and uh, Disenchantment. Oh he, yeah. He works with a lot of okay. like Matt Groening stuff. Gotcha. Um, I blow up my candle. 
Yeah, he's been in. He's oh, been in a number of. Just things. have Tom like and Jerry show up on like Rick and Morty or something. <laughs> they could do it. <laughs> there you go. I'd like be so, done with that. Uh, you can do right. it, Justin are, are, are we done with this? I think segment. we're done. Did we want yes. to talk about well, next? Let's talk section. about during the week. Yeah, we're running out of time. Let's talk about during here. the week what we're gonna reboot. Yeah, we're, we're running out of time here. All right. How much longer uh, do we have? Up next. I mean, we. T- it's not like we have an actual like time, time limit, the... but we are definitely going over a lot of time. So, uh, yeah, Jonathan, you have three to five minutes. Tell us what SCP you've uh, you've found for us. All today. right. So, for those so, who don't know, the SCP Foundation is a mysterious organization that houses weird, anomalous, supernatural. Okay, artifacts. your three minutes are so, up now. Just wow, <laughs> that's the supernatural anomaly right there. Time warp. Anyway, so we're going to be looking at a particular creature in containment known as SCP-183. One Shoot, where'd my notes go? Ah, oh, there we go. Uh, you went, you went, you went with these. Am early I googling numbers. it? Oh yeah, I, I, for the first one, I wanted to stick with the uh, series one, and yeah. I'll probably do that for the first couple episodes. But anyway, you said one eight three. Yes, yeah. SCP one eight three. Yeah, feel free to bring up the document if you want. I'll just read a summary of what I wrote down here. A lot of it's just copy and pasted from the document. SCP one eight three is an unknown biological entity that is, for all intents and purposes, invisible. Evidence of his, of its existence comes in the form of monofilament wires, which the organism apparently synthesizes. These extremely thin and durable wires are capable of slicing through soft tissue, bone, and even body armor mm. with very little force. Wait a minute, hold on. Soft tissue, bone, <laughs> body armor. There's a big discrepancy <laughs> between those three. Uh, kind it's of. Just, the point is it can like, slice through anything. Hard tissue. Imagine like a cheese tissue. slicer, but much thinner, a lot harder to see, but still visible. Yeah. And you can just like touch it and it cuts you. So. Nice. Obviously this constitutes so is it like, a serious hazard for all personnel within the containment chamber. Question. So is the invisible thing, is it basically like an invisible snail and that's its slime trail? We it's don't know what it is. Filament wire? No, because it's a the snail. thing is... It's 100% a snail. <laughs> It, it's not a snail because these wires are strung across in midair, so you can just walk right. Spider. In. Maybe it's a little spider. So yeah, it's more analogous it's of a spider. Web. It's top hat spider. And the interesting spider thing top. about these is they may be a form of carbon nanotube. Do with that information what you will. I don't know what that means. <laughs> anyway, that means he can smoke it, right? Yeah, sure, oh, yeah. definitely. He's he's a weed smoker. Nanotube. That's how he produces it. Uh. Anyway. So nano machines. He frequently and Probably almost eats. instantly strings these taut between walls. That's the exact wording. <laughs> taut. Nice. That is that is taut. That is a taut SCP right that is there. So mm. taut. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, between he strings them between the walls, the ceilings, and the floor. Tautly. <laughs> In a razor sharp tangle. A lot like a spider's web, nice. it's used to trap and capture food. Um, so small animals within the chamber are left alone until killed by their own movements. The S- No! <laughs> so basically they, they move around and run into these wires and die. Yeah. Oh, oh so they're just dumb. The SCP will consume any <laughs> severed body parts, but will not attack the animal itself until it is dead. <laughs> well, that's nice of it. That's lit. polite. Yeah, that's polite. Now, if it attacked it while it was still alive, so, I mean... That's just rude. The, the fibers vanish after several hours. The theory is that they will eventually lose their adhesive properties and fall to the floor to be consumed and recycled by the SCP. So at least it's environment conscious. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Nice. So here's the really interesting around. thing about this SCP. It's a nice guy. SCP-183 plucks its wires in a distinctly musical pattern, hmm. indicating nice. a higher oh, level of intelligence, nice. possibly. It produces a surprisingly complex and euphonic melody, which is reproducible on the common pentatonic scale. I don't know what that is. You probably do. You're more into music than me. We do. Uh, Yeah. Yeah. As long as it's not like a pentagram scale. (laughs) No. (laughs) It's a Satan. Well, some people might say that. Play it back. Of course. (laughs) Anyway. Limited number of notes suggest that the wires are produced at discrete lengths and tensions, indicating high intelligence. All right. And it may hmm. be designed to lure prey. However, playing back the tune produced no observable change in activity, suggesting that it is not intended for communication. And 
that's about it. There aren't any other addendums. Uh, huh. Current research that's really on the SCP aims that's to reverse cool. engineer the organism's monofilament wires and to ascertain the mechanism that the mechanism of its invincibility or invisibility. So that is a really neat SCP. Yeah, I like that. It's really neat. It's better than cool. the other one I had in mind, it's which was classy. basically a swarm of cockroaches that hypnotizes people into being Ugh. less protective of themselves. Uh, er, uh, not cockroaches, locusts. Gross. Which I'm not sure is any less gross. Oh, that's so much better. <laughs> but yeah, that is pretty interesting. Uh, I know, cockroaches are that's pretty That's another bad, one though. they could put into containment breach, honestly. Especially if it got out. <laughs> It'd be an obstacle to avoid it. You could incorporate that as a mechanic pretty All right. effectively. Your five minutes. All right. All so, right. yeah, that's the SCP. It's my section for this stream. Yeah, that's uh, that was a good SCP. I like that one. Cool. Thank you. Uh, I thought it was really neat. Uh, oh, and here's food. the picture of it, of the wires it produces. I forgot to post. I'll just do that real fast. I think I saw it on the actual page oh, itself. Yeah. Well, for those that didn't, and we can put it in the video later. Here it is. Yeah, I'll, I'll put that up. Uh, yeah, I'll put that up. Cool. So yeah, alrighty. Go. SCP, very fascinating mythos. Oh, uh, all right. Next is uh, we'll go ahead and do a uh, Stephen food of the week. You got yep. thirty seconds. Food of the week. Okay. Chick fil A so, and cheese. <laughs> recently, I've been eating a lot of just straight granola with a spoon. <laughs> is supposed to get? Is this supposed to gay granola? What? <laughs> yeah. That was Luke. That was just such a top tier joke. Yeah, I know. I was. It's the low hanging fruit. It man. stinks. Like it. Yeah. Somebody's, <laughs> if, <laughs> if nobody picks the low hanging fruit, it's gonna drop off the tree and rot, and nobody wants that. Just for some reason, I love just taking a spoon and just eating granola. That's really weird because we like started straight. eating your plate with a uh, granola on top as Here, well. Here, feed it. But you Steven, just eat Steven, straight Steven, granola. Or, what brand is it? I got you, bro. What brand is it? Oh god! Bare naked granola. <laughs> oh, yes. I recognize that from work. Here, here you go. I work with retail products. Mm, oh my god! I don't want to look at that. Oh, get that off the screen. That's every food segment. Demonetize that. All right, that's <laughs> we're only right, going to do so bare naked food. All right, so Stephen, your food <laughs> no. of the week is literally just granola. Well, specifically, triple berry granola. <laughs> Cool. It has dried fruit. I in do it. like dried fruit. See, that can be pretty good. It has I mean, granola. Yeah, but like, have you had that. granola? Fifty percent less sugar. Stephen, Stephen, have nope. you had granola and yogurt? It's great. Yes, that's great. It is it's good, good okay. stuff. It is good. And then, and then, it's quality. And then sometimes put quality yogurt. And then put a preserve at the bottom. Make a parfait. It's great. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. See, the way Stephen sometimes his food habits, I was concerned to be like, no, that's gross. Yeah. And I'd be like. This is a lot healthier because, okay. like, you can consume a lot more granola this way because yogurt will fatten you up, you know, a lot of times. That's true. It also does it get the low fat depending yogurt. on how much, how often you eat. I mean, yogurt's like supposed to be really good for you. Yeah. I mean, like I said, we've I'm been like, eating like yo plates like almost every morning now, and it is really nice. <laughs> it like definitely gives you a lot of nutrients yeah. for work. Man, All I right. some yogurt. Granola. So our food of the day is uh, yo plates, gr granola, granola, <laughs> and uh, triple berry. granola, triple berry, and yo plate yogurt. All right. There we go. So no. we are now moving. We are now moving. Parfait. To the, to I the... keep calling them yo plates. They're parfaits. Oh my gosh. I mean, I the yo plate is the brand of yogurt that we yeah. use. We are eating parfaits. All right. <laughs> Sounds like it's in pig yeah. Latin. We're moving Meme on. Review. We're moving oh. on to the final sections. Uh, news. Mm. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, scroll down my news feed here. Are you just gonna pick up the first news you see? No. I'm gonna find the most interesting one I see. Go to Buzzfeed. All right. Buzzfeed. Steven, go to Buzzfeed, Buzzfeed right now. Find something interesting. Pile I'll cover this. Of garbage. What right. kind of granola are you? <laughs> That's got to uh, be real. Okay, what kind of granola are you? Has to be a real thing. All right, um, let's see. Shantae Five is has, has an official title reveal as uh, Shantae and the Seven Sirens. Yeah, I've yeah. I played a Shantae game. Yeah. So. Uh, oh, is that the genie thing? Yeah, yeah. People want her in Smash. Oh, huh, interesting. Oh. Doom cool. guy uh, first. So I didn't that, realize that that game was so popular. We want Doom this guy. Is, it is, it's a popular series. It's been around for quite a while. The Monster Hunter character. Just any Monster Jonathan, Hunter. Jonathan, we're not doing Smash okay. right now. I want it! No, <laughs> we, we'll have you a Smash brought it up. another time. Okay. I just... Uh, Sonic the Hedgehog movie. Sega Europe president thinks that trying to control Paramount is the wrong approach. I don't what? know what that means. Are they talking to the fans trying to change Paramount's decision on the Sonic design? That's the only thing I can think of. I think that might be what, what they're saying. You know, who cares what uh, Sega Europe president thinks? You know what? They were objectively wrong with that design. 
Okay? There's opinions yeah. in art, but then there's a certain line where, like, why would you change the character that people are familiar with to something yeah. else that's completely foreign and just doesn't look good? It's off-putting and weird. Yeah, it's Like, weird. go with the character like, that I, people are familiar with. Because, like, what's the point of redesigning yeah. it? I mean, like, that's the thing. You're not going to attract the audience that's familiar with the character, and, like, you're certainly not going to attract new audiences with that design either way, so mm -hmm. it's just a bad decision on their part. Hopefully well, they'll fix it, it. Yeah, it's been said a thousand times before. You don't need to hear it from us. The Sonic movie design is bad, and hopefully the redesign is like closer to the game. Because yeah. I mean, that's I mean the yeah, fact that the director game. actually did listen to the feedback is a bit. Yeah. it gives me some. Hope. I'm tempted to maybe this will as much as the movie looks generic. I'm tempted to go see it just because that's a great decision for a director in a studio to be like, let's mm -hmm. go ahead and change the design. Yeah. That never happens. I'll, never I'll see happens. the yeah. uh, trailers first. And if it's good, maybe I'll go some yeah. more just because, like, we need good... If it's bad, I'm movies. definitely going to go oh, see yeah. it. Yeah, that's the thing, just right? Watch, if it's okay... Gosh, just watch the Sonic movie, of all things, be, like, the first, like, truly amazing video game movie with, like, deep character development and, like, really deep themes and, like, amazing effects. That, it's got, it's, that will not it's got, but ju could It's you got Jim Carrey it did, going, though, like... How weird that would be? It's got Jim Carrey, like... like I've got a robot. <laughs> like it's pro it's not that kind. Of well, Jim Carrey. Because the ironic thing is, if that were to happen, though, considering but. how like mixed the Sonic games have been lately, how weird that would be mm. for the Sonic movie Flippy. of all things to like raise the bar of video game mm. movies. Yeah. All right. Anyway. So let's see what else I got here. Uh, Borderlands Three adds Ice T as the voice actor. <laughs> so I was gonna, like, you could drink iced tea in it. I was like really, con I was really confused for like a half a second. I would have been totally fine if that's all it was. <laughs> yeah, like it's a power up now. You like, there's a floating cup of iced tea, like old video game it, stuff. It's got you a gun over it. Get it. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's got a little zest iced in it, like lemon legs. zest. So you get like a speed boost from it and everything. Yep. I mean, iced tea already has. All right, uh, Saints Row Five is officially in development. That, I'm, good, I'm, I'm excited about for. that. I never did get around to playing four. Saints Row Four is amazing. That is a great I'll probably game. still play that at some point, unless great the fifth one comes out before I get to it. I have a lot of games in my backlog. <laughs> great commentary! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> if one of our listeners would like to provide subs for that uh, three seconds... Welcome to Hashtag Dummies! Where we don't even remember our own name. That's how dumb we are. Uh, big No Man's Sky update uh, came out today. I've, I've, oh, yeah. I've seen a little bit of it. Some really neat looking stuff. In there. I want to ride oh, dinosaurs! Um, literally, you can mount any creature now. Yeah. Like, ride around any hmm. creature in the game now that you can. Can I find. mount, like, one of those little yes. fungus that, like, yes, pops you can. around? I think, yes. <laughs> Anything. Wait, any creature. <laughs> any creature any is mountable. Any creature. <laughs> um, That's pretty cool, actually. A uh, VR. <laughs> I'm very much. Looking forward to trying out the PSVR. Yeah, same on here. I'm, I, I love very VR. much. I'll get back on that next week. I cannot wait for the future of VR when they continue to like refine it, get that crystal clear image, and just make mm. like full blown like RPGs and adventure games designed for VR. Like I'm still looking forward. to Yeah, that. I, I I'm very much looking forward like to trying 60 the VR. There's plus a lot hour of VR games. Oh, Steven, you might like this. Yo. If they literally increased inventory sizes to the point where it it's not even gonna matter anymore. Literally, okay, I remember I was always like, literally, <laughs> sack sizes were like two fifty. They're ten thousand. Wait, in what? In what? Really? Yeah, no man's sky. Oh, okay. In your oh, inventory. Oh wow, that's really 10, good. <laughs> thousand as opposed to two fifty. Thank you. At least for like that's raw so material. Ten thousand. So. Wow. Thank you. That's Thank some, you. That's some inventory stuff. management was one of the most annoying things about that game. It always got in the way of the exploration because the exploration is fun when you can do it, <laughs> which was oh. rare. <laughs> um, uh, Nintendo music on YouTube, like, like Nintendo OST stuff, uh, is being a lot of it's being taken down right now. So if you've like oh. searched any like Nintendo soundtracks. Uh, and you've noticed they're not there anymore. That's why Nintendo's cracking down on. Oh, man, Nintendo. I mean, it is uh, their property, been... and they're not getting money for it. So, I mean, I can kind of. They should understand. sell the soundtracks. Yeah. They really should. I'll <laughs> Nintendo. Yeah. I will buy your soundtracks. They're amazing. I listen to them regularly at work because I love them. I'll pay for them. Please release them on iTunes or anything. <laughs> anyway, that's my uh, yeah my my request. Spotify also put. You won't make money, but it's out there and it's technically legal. Smash Brothers. Uh, <laughs> I'll pay for that too. <laughs> there is a uh, Henry. There's a Henry Cavill mod for the uh, Witcher Three where you can just 
make <laughs> Geralt look like Henry Cavill. It's pretty good looking too. It's I mean, why would you? I mean, of course it's pretty good looking. It's Henry Cavill. <laughs> I mean, um, can you make him look like Henry Cavill from Mission Impossible Fallout? <laughs> With the mustache. Or can yeah. you make I him look to... like Superman with the fake, uh, deep fake mustache? The fake lip. <laughs> yeah, the off. It did look like it did look like a deep fake. Because it was. I it actually was saw out. Justice League. It was edited out. Yeah. Because uh, he was filming. The, uh, no, I saw the movie, yeah. dude. Here's the picture of the mod. Uh, oh wow! Wow. That, that's a high Dang. quality it, model. It really dude, is. wait, wait, wait. Dang. Scroll back up. Scroll back up to Dog Guy. Wait, what? Oh. D- it's, <laughs> oh my gosh! They're the similar. same person. Just with longer hair. It's pretty similar. It looks more like that guy than it does Henry Cavill, honestly. <laughs> that looks like, I don't know. No, that looks like Henry Cavill. Uh, Without the right. mustache and the few beard. More, few more news headlines. I'm more, too. I'm more weirded out that they got his chest hair texture from Superman. <laughs> like, like how he looked in Superman. Oh, they just imported the digital the part model that from the movie. <laughs> oh my goodness. Jesse, do you want my BuzzFeed article? Uh, we'll do that no. in a second. That's the next segment. Oh okay. boy. Uh... Uh, Madden 20, nobody cares about that. Uh, THQ Nordic is doing a lot of stuff right now. THQ! Like, like, Nordic. Yeah, THQ Nordic is cool, man. They they re-released uh, Titan Quest, and they've been making, like, actual mods, like, not mods, uh, DLC expansions, expansions yeah. yeah. Yeah, for like a the remastering Sponge almost Bob. twenty year old game probably at this point. The, the remake and remastering Sponge- SpongeBob, which is going to be amazing. Right. Oh my SpongeBob uh, Battle, Battle for, for Bikini B- Bottom. I That's going to be awesome. I hopefully. can't wait. Uh, yeah, Control releases in I think a few days. Yes. Oh, I might actually. Oh buy yeah, that. I keep forgetting yeah. about that game. It's really intriguing. Yeah. I haven't oh, looked. Like, I haven't Control watched a ton of marketing, so, but like, it's it's so up my alley because it's just that. Like, it's really sleek, modern building, mm. weird powers, weird psychic stuff, mm. and mysteries, and stuff that uh. doesn't really make a lot of sense. It's got, it seems like it has some quirky humor. Yeah. I watched a video, like a 20 minute video of it. Like, everything about it, I'm like all on board. Yeah. Yeah, I'm very, very uh, game- I'm excited. Yeah. Game- I'll see what the reviews are first, but. Just watch it be the next uh, yeah. point, man. So, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, no. no. I don't think it'll be that bad. That. No. Notice that no in the way. marketing yeah. for that game, they showed literally none of the gameplay. <laughs> because it sucked. <Yeah. laughs> they knew. They knew. I don't know. Yeah. Who published that? Was it uh, Squaresoft? Or Square Enix? Yeah, Square. Dang. Square Enix published that. Wow. I don't know what they were thinking. They just pooped that out. <laughs> It's so weird because like the uh, art in the game looks good until you see it animated. <laughs> the mm, animation. Yeah. All right. Anyway, sorry. All so right. Uh, last thing, uh, Gamescom uh, 2019 is happening next week. We're gonna see a lot of cool stuff. Oh, yeah. uh, we will see footage of SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom. Oh That's yeah, I love that awesome. game. A lot. That was my childhood. We're gonna see a lot of stuff. All, All right, right. Steven, it. Buzzfeed article, and then we're wrapping okay. up. Okay. Kardashian BFFs are here today and gone tomorrow. From Kylie Jenner to Jordan Woods and now Stacey Edwards, the Kardashians have always been good at monetizing friendships between women. <laughs> that is my favorite sentence in anything. <laughs> and They're good at that, monetizing friendships with women. And with that, that's amazing. And with that, we're gonna go ahead and wrap this up. So, <laughs> uh, let me take a look here. Um, wow. They tap. <laughs> yeah. Going back to SpongeBob for like a second, like I've talked to you about about this b- with you guys before. Like, isn't it sad that like one of the most exciting releases was like the Crash re-release? It's all the reboots and the SpongeBob the re-release. Except yeah, the re- like the reboots remasters are actually the really games. good. Well, they're not reboots; they're remasters. Yeah, so. remakes. Remasters. Yeah. Remakes or remakes. You're right. It's because it's a complete overhaul. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's not they're an overhaul. They're rebuilding it's literally the, game from the ground up and just mimicking it as close as possible. And they did it. Heck of a good yeah. job. Yeah. So, all right, we're gonna go ahead and uh, we're gonna go ahead and do our wrap up now. So, uh, things happening on hashtag idiots uh, this week. Jonathan, Stephen got their uh, observation playthrough yep, going. Still going through that. We were a bit. Oh, we. What? Yeah. We were a bit tired. Yeah, no, keep. It. We were a bit tired during the last session, <laughs> but hopefully we'll be able to uh, get a lot more done this time. That's why we were like really struggling to solve those puzzles, like. And not get stuck on. We were on, looking uh, for that one airlock finding. for like fifteen minutes, <laughs> and it was behind us the whole time. Oh, more than that, more than fifteen minutes. It was probably like half I an had hour, to cut probably. Out so much. 
<laughs> Although, actually, like, after reviewing the footage, there we, there were more good bits in there than I remembered, so yeah. it wasn't a total loss. So, still making progress through it. Really cool game. Bit confusing at times. But, uh... Yeah. yeah. You enjoying it, Steve? Uh, probably intentionally in you some still parts. still it? Huh? Yeah, it's a really interesting game. Like, a lot of the probably intentional finickiness of the game I, I'm not huge on, but the atmosphere is really cool. Like, I like the story that they're slowly yeah. like building in the suspense that's oh. there that you don't know what's going on the yet. next episode oh. i guarantee well, is gonna be anyone. really cool trust me <laughs> it's, it's forward to it. Yeah. yeah stay tuned all right so uh, <laughs> other than that we have we always got our uh, hashtag arcades coming up where we play dumb old games and half what's of them the are, next one to be uploaded half of them are sports games and i hate sports <laughs> games so much and i just i hate everything uh, next one to be uploaded. Shoot, I don't remember because we just did the was Mario it, um, Bros. What did we play after Mario? Was it Bros? Donkey Kong? Oh, I hope it's Donkey Kong, Donkey Kong Junior. Specifically, yes. That game is kind of interesting, actually. Yeah, it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be, but it wasn't great yeah. either. Um, and uh, beyond that, we all, all four of us, finally. Started a playthrough, uh, Castlevania, mm -hmm. Rondo of Blood. Oh, yeah. That game is great, and it's also really hard, and none of us know how to play Castlevania. Did you know? So hopefully... Yeah. Did you know that game has the character from Super Smash Bros. Ultimate? <laughs> <laughs> wow. As very well as cool. How cool music. of them to give him his own game. Yeah. That can't, <laughs> I can't believe my main from Smash Ultimate has a game of his own. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, but uh, hopefully my playthrough of uh, Castlevania, Super Castlevania 4, that I was doing, uh, hopefully that gets me prepared to do a little bit better in Rondo of Blood. So. <laughs> uh, other than that, I think that's all we got going on, uh, at least yeah. at this particular nice. time. So, um, yeah, that's it. We don't have any guests or anything to, yep. awesome, to, awesome. Uh, to send off. So, uh, oh, yeah. also, we will be getting back to Doom at some point. Um, we had a request recently. Oh, yeah do a, a player-created map, and if anybody else has uh, suggestions for player-created maps, uh, we'll happily do those uh, for a snap mm -hmm. map. Yeah, mm -hmm. and, when, and I, get, I got Doom. And we'll probably I do that it. with the turtle as well. I also got well. Doom. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you got yeah. So all four of us are probably going to jump in on it. That Definitely, too, so yeah, because it is four-player four co-op, four so... One. Yeah, we'll get to that once we finish Observation and some of these other games we're getting through. And, and especially when we get when to Doom Eternal. Out. That's going to yes. be the big kahuna. Doom we Eternal. are all yes. so hyped for that game. It looks so good. Yeah, um, I have already I already own the game. Yeah. I haven't pre-ordered yet, but it's I will. Be great. Pre-order yeah. culture, Steven. I got it for $15 You're feeling off. the corporate machine! How could you do this to us? <laughs> At least they gave me a discount. At least it's probably gonna like it's gonna be. It's a gonna great be a game game. when it comes out. I trust yeah. the software. Yeah. They're great. Doom is yeah. like Doom 2016 is like one of the best FPSs like ever. Mm. Don't so. mess it up, Ed. We're watching you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> They've got experience. I don't think they will. <laughs> All right. So uh, yeah, that's it. So uh, everyone, thanks. Awesome. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. All my all my fellow idiots. All my stupid friends that I hate rather not be here uh yeah so uh, thanks for Does watching that include me uh, your own older brother wow i'm touched and <laughs> you're not my friend you're my brother oh, okay well that makes sense well, I, I, that's an echelon above friends no offense guys <laughs> <laughs> you are my brother you are my brother oh, i hate you i hate you <laughs> <laughs>